right, sports fans, we are back on the ARC. A couple people mentioned wanting to watch ARC in my previous stream I just did on my coin channel, and it's like, as soon as you mention the word ARC to me, my brain just says, damn, I want to play ARC now. So, Armello's first up in the channel and first in the chat. He's like, whoop! <coughs> Excuse me. He's like, whoop. <laughs> well, welcome, Armello. Thanks for being at the Coin Club meeting as well. Thank you for being there. And, uh, yeah, whoop indeed. Whoop indeed. All right. Let's, uh, get to work. All right, it's bright outside. Let's turn the brightness down. Got to do this every day and every night in ARC. If we want to... Well, it's, if you're just playing it and not streaming it, it's not too bad. But if you're streaming it, you got to make the adjustments every damn time. So, what are we going to get done today? Let's see what this little guy is. Level 25, okay. We need a male dial... They're called dialos, right? Is that what they're called? Dilophosaur. Dilophosaur. Yeah, we need a male one of those because we got two nice... High-level females over there. We can see them through the wall there. Um, but we need a male sitting around. Really, it doesn't matter what level. We can just get that one. Because as soon as you put the male next to the females, they'll start laying eggs and stuff. And we need the eggs for stuff, you know? We just need it for stuff. What's this uh, Stego doing over here? Level 45? Okay. So we got a couple things to work on. We can, of course, go back to the island up north and try to find that damn high-level Rex. We could try to do that. And a Carno, maybe a Scorpion, maybe a Raptor. There's stuff we can find. Um, Tico, what's up? No more sus dino? No more robot dinos? Come on, Marmel, you don't like our robot dinos? Look at that. America! Red, white, and blue. You don't like America? Robot dino? Look, he's looking right at you. Alright. Um, yeah, we like robot dinos, don't we? So we got that. Um, we can go back up and try to find that Rex, which I'm sure we'll do a little bit of that at some point. We can also work on the wall. We got our veggies going, which is good. We can also work on this wall, add some more stone walls to make the wall a little higher. Not super high on the priority list, because all the stuff that spawns around here pretty much can't get over that wall. Like, mostly the raptors. Raptors are pretty much the only mean thing that spawns here that would come in and kill all my dinos that I'm worried about. And we're pretty much protected. I mean, getting this to too high at least would be a lot better. So maybe we'll make 20 walls or so to get it to too high, whatever it takes. Uh, so it's not huge priority. Another thing I think we should do is make another raft and then make a taming boat. So we'll make a trap on a raft, then we can drive around the whole island looking for cool things that are on the shore that we want to tame. Maybe even a Rex, if we see one just chilling on the shore. And then right there, we won't have to build a taming trap. We won't have to build a trap for it, because our boat will be the trap itself. So we'll make a mobile trap, basically. So... Tico fans like, oh yeah, Tico, YouTube didn't like whatever you were trying to write there. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Gilligan's Island, the game. Yeah, exactly. Except that you're, except I'm solo. I don't have the skipper and the professor and Mary Ann here on Kittles Dinosaur Island. Yeah, exactly. Oh, is that what he was? He tried to swear. Yeah. All right. So we got one piece of charcoal. I'm not gonna carry around one piece of charcoal. All right, got a bunch of stone arrows, trank arrows. Um, I think first things first, we are going to... Another thing we need to do is we need to make a tree platform and a sap tap. So we need to start gathering sap, and then we need to start gathering honey. Let's see what it takes to make a tree platform. Structure. Uh, wood. Tree platform. 600 cementing paste, very expensive. 1,600 wood and 200 metal. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Paul's like, yes, dinos. Yeah, I was just mentioning, Paul, it's like, a couple people mentioned ARK in my last stream on the coin channel, and it's like, as soon as people say ARK, that just gets my brain thinking, I have to play ARK now. I have to play ARK now. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. 
Um, I think we'll start out by making that tree platform. Let's go make a tree platform and some sap taps. Can we make the sap taps yet? Let's see if it, what it takes to make those. Structures, probably miscellaneous, sap tap. Uh, I need more cementing paste for that. So we need a shit ton of cementing paste. Luckily, we've been collecting cementing paste. So we need at least 600, 700 all together. So let's just start grabbing some. Let's grab 700 and drop it in here. Structures, miscellaneous, sap tap. Um, man, they take 40 each. I want to make three of them. So we're going to do that. And then let's get at least another stack of cementing paste. Luckily, our snail is making more of this for us, too. Very slowly, though, and our snail is... Start, well, I'm, like, stuck. I couldn't walk there for a second. And our snail... Uh, we can't feed it right now. That's one of the reasons we need to make this sap tap. Let's grab 600 fiber. I know we're going to need that for the tree platform. We'll go to structures, wood, platform. And it looks like we're going to need more metal, too. It looks like I just burnt away some of my metal. And we just need a shit ton of wood. Like 1,600 wood. I do have more metal right in here that's ready to go. So we have just enough metal to make this. Let's go get a bunch of wood. Yeah, we can leave the door open. All right, we can leave the door open. Let's do it. Let's take our bird right over here. And uh, let's cut down some of this forest. What part of the forest do we hate the most? Let's cut down this part over here. Right outside our door. Start dropping this wood on the bird. A little bit at a time. Oh, what did I just put on there? Fiber. I'll keep that. Uh, let's see. Hey, Mr. Crafts, how you doing? Your name's Hunter. How you doing, Hunter? Um, Clever's here. What's going on? Invite Manda, then I won't be lonely. I could. Manda doesn't have the game, but if she did have the game, I could invite, invite her. So my, first I'm making a tree platform and some sap taps. I just made the sap taps. I gotta uh, make the platform. Now, I don't think I have to do it on a platform. I think I could go right up to a redwood and put the taps in the bottom of a tree. But I like putting it on a tree platform. And I'll show everybody why once we do it. I'll show everybody why. Well, first of all, it looks cool. But it's just safe. It's safe. And remember, safety first. Oh, you know what? I got an idea, too. We can make this right in the set. Okay. Get a bunch of wood. And then we fill up. Put it back on the bird. And that's almost too much. The bird's going to get a little too heavy here pretty soon. 1300 pieces, we need another 600 or so. Or no, 300 or so. One more tree or two. That's probably enough, but we're gonna overdo it like we always do. There we go. Now, hopefully, I can fly this bird without being too heavy. Uh, nope. He just floats right there. Too heavy. So, what we're gonna do. Shit. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get the bird. Hey, it's just too heavy, huh? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead here, behavior, enable following. So we're gonna order the bird to follow me. And we're just gonna walk back home.
whistle him to stop. Hopefully he lands somewhere reasonably. He's gonna land way over there like an asshole. Yep, that's what he's gonna do. I'm gonna put all this wood on the smithy. So we can make our item. 511 wood right there. Takes 1600 wood just to make this one item. That sucks. But wasn't that hard to collect. Wasn't that hard to collect. Just heavy. Take as much as we can. Only carry about 500 at a time. Put our axe away. Almost out of water. We gotta get a drink in a second. One more trip after this. This is like half of arc, basically, when you get towards building cool stuff. It's just uh, <laughs> walking back and forth, emptying things, filling things up, emptying things, filling things up. It's fucking brutal. Just. And take this last little bit. And this should do it. If my calculations... Oh, there's three more. Nine more on there. Let's get that. If my calculations were correct, that's how much we needed. Hope everybody enjoyed our meeting tonight on the Kittle Coins channel. Wooden Tree Platform. Let's make it. I gotta tame a bee. I don't know if I'm ready to do that, Paul. I need to do it. I need to do it, but I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready to do that. Uh, when you mess with the, first of all, you got to break the beehive. That's the first step. And as you're doing that, bees are stinging you and trying to kill you. And then once you break it, the queen bee comes out and sends worker bees to kill you, which they're mean and they sting you. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to tame a bee in this game. Um... You avoid a lot of the issues if you have a bear and you walk up to a beehive with a bear and then destroy it. The bees don't really attack you and it's a lot easier. So I might need to get a bear first. But I really don't need a beehive to make my first couple vegetable cakes. I can go up to a beehive right now without taming a bee and just grab some honey and run like hell. So I can do that without taming a bee. All right, wooden tree platform and three taps. Perfect. Let's go put the wooden tree platform on a hot bar here. Let's put it right where the GPS is. I really don't even need a GPS. I know where I'm going. Let's get dark. Let's go down to the ocean, get a drink, fill my water skin. A bear and a ghillie suit. I don't know if you need a ghillie suit. I mean, I think it probably helps. O and also, uh, making bug repellent would help, too. Um, started watching Flinger Foo. Learn more about the caves. Well, you're going to do the caves in that? I'll eventually do it. I could go do the easy cave right now, the, where the artifact of the hunter is, I believe. I could go do that one right now, and I, maybe we will do that today. I don't even need a... Really don't even need a tame to go in there. I had a really nice Carno that would have been perfect for it, but fucking got that killed. Otherwise, I don't have any other smaller tames I can ride in there. There's a Carno right there. What are you? Level 40. Now it got dark. Options. Gamma to the max, so we can see. Resume. Have I received my package? Um, I got, I'm going tomorrow to get empty out my P.O. box, Clever. It's probably there if you guys sent it a few days ago. I'll be there tomorrow, though. Vote for grabbing honey and making like a poo bear running. <laughs> Go get them mountains. Bears, yes. Kittle suits are for 
Lock kids? Koalas? Yeah. Something like that. Then again, if we can find a nice looking bear, maybe we just tame that up, because I haven't a good... I mean, really, I think it might be fun at some point if we keep playing this, and you got... Oh, there's a 105 parasaur. I already got two high parasaurs. Um, it might be fun just to tame one of every animal, whether we need them or not, you know? Just to say we did it. And I think there's a trophy for taming every animal on the ark. Which I've never gotten. Because there's a lot of animals I've never tamed, because some of them are stupid. Now, I don't know if I can even do it. I think some animals, very, very difficult, if not impossible, to tame solo. And if those, and if you have to do every single animal to get that trophy, some of them are going to be impossible. Like a titanosaur? I don't even know if that's possible to tame solo. To tame that normally, and I've tried to do it with friends and everything, when tribes, very difficult. What you gotta do to tame that motherfucker is, basically, we had to build a Quetzal platform saddle. So Quetzal's a big bird, built a platform saddle on the back of it, and on that we put cannons with cannonballs, and one person was flying right in front of this big dinosaur's face, and the other people were on the cannons shooting the thing in the face. You have to shoot it with cannons over and over and over, right in the face. Can't hit its body, can't hit its neck, you gotta hit it just perfect. So one person has to fly, and the thing keeps moving around chasing you, trying to kill you. Very hard, I don't know how you would ever do that solo. I don't even think it's possible. So we might have to cheat to do it, basically. Um, gotta get like two of everything? Yeah, I mean really, you, that's really what you gotta do. You, you should get a male and a female of everything, then you can get them to start laying eggs, and then... ...you know, use those eggs. That's really what you should be doing. Well, some animals don't have male and female, but most do, I think. Well, do they have male? Yeah, I guess... All of, I guess all of them there are male and female, but some of the animals you just can't breed. That's what it is. Some are not breedable. Most are, though. Hallmark Minecraft zombie ornament? Oh, jeez. You're a little hooked on it. Okay, I really don't even want to be building this at night, because the redwoods are fucking scary at night, especially. But we're here, and it's night, so we're going to put this platform saddle down. Or not the platform saddle, the platform in the tree. I like using this tree right here. It's out right on the edge. It's relatively safe. I just gotta make sure there's not a thyla on this tree. Because there's cats that hang on the sides of the trees and jump down and kill ya. It'll knock me right off the bird if I get too close. I don't see it on this tree. So we're gonna get close to this tree. We're gonna try to build the saddle. Or not the plat- not the saddle, but the platform. We're gonna put it right there. There we go. Now we got a platform in that tree. So now... We got a spot to land. And we can actually build a base on this now. You can actually put walls on the end of foundations and walls on this. And you can build bases and trees in this game. It's kind of cool. I got a nice little relatively safe spot to hang. So. I hear a Carno underneath me though. That thing's pissed that I'm up here. Let's go ahead and put some sap taps in the tree. We'll put one there. I only made three. I don't think you can put four in a tree. I think you can only put three. Well, it's letting me put one there, so let's do it. And these slowly fill up over time, so we'll have to check this later. I'll have to check it later. There we go. We got three of them in there. Cool. Tree tigers. Yeah, they're fucking crazy. Hang it next to the KGG channel ornament. <laughs> nice. Uh, so we'd be able to hop off here. Check the tap. And right now it's empty. It'll slowly fill up over time. And I think at each tap holds up to 20 pieces of sap. Is that a tree tiger right there? No, it's just a branch. I'm so paranoid for that, those motherfuckers. Let's see if I can see one anywhere. It's really dark. 
I hate the Redwoods. I don't even want to go in the Redwoods. I hate the Redwoods. I hate them. It's like, first of all, it's hard as hell in there. There's all kinds of mean dinosaurs. And, I mean, not all of them are mean. There's some nice stuff, but... And they have Bigfoots in here, too. That's kind of fun. But, um... You got damn cats jumping out of trees. So if you fly through them, you think you're safe on your bird? No. Fucking tiger jumps out of a tree and knocks you right off your bird. And then you're pretty much dead. And then, not only that, you're pretty much dead, but there's a good chance your bird is dead, too. Because after you die, your bird's still floating around there, and it'll eventually just land. And if you don't have it on the right setting to defend itself, it'll just get killed. It's bullshit. All right, let's see here. Koalas who eat camellia leaves. Yeah, koalas. Hey, Bank Station, how you doing? All right, so we got step one done. All the taps are empty. It'll take a while. We'll have to come back and get sap. Step one. Uh, it's mission one for the day. Um, shoot, while we're here, do we just go try to get the damn Rex? I mean, we're already halfway up to that island, huh? Maybe we'll go do that for a little bit. I know you guys are getting sick of it, but... I want that damn Rex. I want it. Bird, bird, bird. Bird up. Maybe we'll see something else fun to tame along the way, even though it's level 5? Nope. Definitely need to get some more metal and bring it back to the base, too. We're just about out of metal after making those taps in the platform. Rex seems like it'd be a rougher ride than a bird. Well, but really, the oh, drop just started coming down. That's kind of cool. Uh, really, what we need the Rex is not really just for getting around. We hardly ever use the Rexes in the game. Um, they're for fighting the bosses. So to do a boss fight... You gotta go to a terminal and upload the artifacts to unlock the boss battle, okay? You gotta go in the caves to get the artifacts. To go into the boss fight, you can go in with up to 10 players, if you're playing with other people, and up to 20 animals you can bring to help fight the boss. So if you just go in there by yourself on foot, like with a shotgun or something, you're getting wrecked because the boss is so hard to kill. You're just gonna get wrecked and die and lose all your stuff. Um... So you have to go in with animals to help you kill the boss. And Rexes are what we're going to breed to try to kill them. I still got animals from the damn Halloween event around here. I might have to do a... I might have to kill all the dinos on the map and let new stuff respawn, because this thing's going to be walking around pretty much forever until I kill it. And I don't want s Halloween dinos around. They're pretty useless. Anyway, uh... Yeah, we need to breed Rex, and we need to get high-level Rexes and then breed them. It's the strongest... No, there's a stronger di dino, the Giga, but you can't bring Gigas in the boss fights. So Rex is pretty good for most of the fights. I mean... The first fight that we would do is fighting the Broodmother, which is a giant spider. Okay? The Rexes will do fine for that. Right over here is one of the Gigas. I just, female Giga right there. It's about twice the size of a damn Rex, and way more powerful. You can't bring those into boss fights that are too big, and there's not allowed. But that thing, those are fun to get and ride. Oh, he aggroed me. Yep, he knows I'm here. Or she. Those are mean. We don't, we don't want to mess with that. Very hard to tame, too. Um, nah, too hard to tame. They're just, they take a ton of Trank arrows. Or you gotta use, actually, actually use Trank darts, or Shocking darts with a, with a rifle. It's a little better. Um, so anyway, the, other than using Rexes, for the spider, a lot of people use a Megatherium, which is like a giant rat. It's like a mean, mean rat. It's like a giant rat. Or, and uh, people use those because when you fight the giant spider, there's tons of little spiders all around. 
and those things, the Megatherium, get, like, huge boosts every time they kill an insect. So while you're killing all the little insects, you're getting huge boosts to help fight the big spider. So a lot of people use those. And then when we fight the dragon battle, it might be better to use uh, Therizinos, which are the big fighting chickens. Because, um... Those won't take as much damage as the Rexes for the dragon fire. And they can heal up good, because they're not meat eaters, and you can feed them vegetable cakes, which help them heal. So there's different strategies, but definitely for fighting the big monkey, which is the second boss battle, Rexes, I think, are the way to go. Why well, don't I have guns yet? A uh, couple reasons. I don't need them. I'm not fighting on foot. I'm, I fight with my animals. Uh, another reason is gunpowder is a bitch to make. Well, right now it is because I don't have a chemistry bench and I don't have the right stuff to make gunpowder. I don't have an industrial forge to make lots of charcoal. Um, I'm just, I just can't make tons of bullets right now is the thing. I could make a few and have a few bullets. I could have a gun with a few bullets, but it's going to still be a shitty gun. It's not going to be a really great gun if I made one. I mean, it might not be a bad idea to have a pump shotgun or something, just in case I get dismounted and I need to defend myself. Even if I only had, like, 10 or 20 rounds. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get over here. We're getting a fucking Rex. We're getting one, damn it. I'm going to try a little bit better to spyglass all the other creatures. Just to make sure there's no high levels of anything else that we want. Like maybe a saber tooth or a, a nice pike blueprint. Nice, we'll take that. And we'll get rid of the metal door frame blueprint that we don't need. So we can make a badass pike, which is does pretty good damage. Did I turn the gamma back down? I didn't yet, did I? It's fucking bright. Pet peeve of this game, the bird doesn't glide, it only pumps its wings. Yeah, like you can- well, there's other tames, like, I think a griffin is one, it's like a- I don't know, it's like a lion with wings or whatever. That you can do like a swoop down gliding move, yeah. This, yeah, it's pretty, uh, basic, isn't it? The animation, yeah. Now it's gonna bother me that you mentioned that. Level 115, that ain't bad. Level 125, these are pretty good. But I'm not gonna tame one of these unless it's a fucking 145 or 150. Even though I don't need to, I'm never gonna use it for anything. I would only tame it just to say we did. But, but I think you can, you can ride these things. You can get a saddle and ride them. And you could actually use these to knock out Rexes and stuff. Because they got the... Every time they hit you with their stinger, it, like, gives you tranquilizing. You can knock out a Rex pretty quick with a high-level Scorpion. Yeah, from the top of the mountain... Well, they have parachutes, and I got a parachute. I could have jumped off the mountain and probably parachuted most of the way, if not all the way over here. But that, you can only do that on foot. Like, I think I got a parachute on this bird. I, like, I got one out of a drop. Yeah, I got a parachute right here, so I could jump and use a parachute and glide halfway across the map from the top of the mountain. But yeah, you can't, can't really do that with, uh, with an animal. Unfortunately. And there's, a, there's some other, like, silly mechanics in this game, too. I don't know if it still works this way, because, like I said, I haven't really played much in recent years, literally. But, when you're on a dinosaur, like if you're riding your Rex around, if you jump off a cliff, your dinosaur will take fall damage when it lands. You can actually kill your dinosaur if you jump off a big enough cliff, okay? 
and if it doesn't have enough health. But there's a little cheat mechanism, like a little cheat in the game, where when you jump off a cliff with your dinosaur, if you want to take a shortcut, like not walk all the way around, jump off a mountain, right before you land, your dinosaur hits the ground, if you dismount, if you dismount, like right before it hits the ground, your animal takes no fall damage. And then you just jump right back on the back of your dinosaur and it's kind of cheat. It, it's kind of cheating, but I don't even know if they let you still it. Man, I'm in the middle of this big pile of fucking Arzies. I don't even know how many of them there are. There are four of them? Five of them? Get the shit kicked out of here. Must be a couple high levels in here. There's a 45. Oh, 50. Yeah, we gotta clear these birds out, rather. Come on, damn it! There we go. Only level 75, eh? Okay. We'll get our stamina back up. Look at this bird coming in to eat the bodies. They're scavengers, that's what they are. Another one? Jesus Christ! And another is that the, or is that just two? That's just two, okay. Yeah, we gotta clear them out. These are low level ones, shouldn't take too long. Nubs is out, huh? Get rid of all these bodies. So. Fuck another one. Look at this. What the fuck, man? What is this, like eight birds that were over here or something like that? It's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Fucking crazy. Drop all their meat. I don't fucking need the meat. Level Ten. It's over here. Can't even see what levels they are. I don't. They're dying anyway. Whatever it is. Just two birds here. I don't know where the other one went. Weird. Weird. Four large slices of pizza. I guess that was last night. I don't know what Mikey had tonight. I don't know. Let's see. What did Nub say? Something? Keep more shotgun shrugs in your truck than that? Jeez. All right. Are you throwing a meat? Yeah, I'm just throwing it right on the ground. Like if I go like right here, if I I can drop things one at a time just by dropping one stack at a time, and then what it does is it like leaves little boxes that decompose after like I think two minutes. So if I change my mind, I can pick them back up. Oops, wrong button. Don't want to hit that button when there's bad things around. Or I can go in here and just search what I want to drop, and I just do raw, so it drops the raw meat and the raw. Primary, and then if I go to drop all, it will leave a bag that has 18 items in it, and I can pick all that up. That decomposes in five minutes. These last for two minutes. Like if you do it that way. Just a way to get rid of some shit that I'm not using. Raptors, let's get them. Let's get them killed. Yeah, 
They were a little aggressive. <laughs> Should know from last night what you were guessing. Oh, you probably had a cheeseburger then? Well, because I really don't need it. Um, you just get so much of it, and uh, it adds up weight. Like, I, my bird, with me flying on it right now, already has 310 out of 1020 for its weight. And each stack of meat weighs four more pounds, so it just starts weighing me down. I won't move as fast. And, uh... And if you have more than... Like, I got 1020 total carrying weight on the bird. If I have more than 510, which is half of that, on here, it'll stop collecting items from animals and will just, like, leave little bags behind. For, and I want it to keep collecting things like the arrows and stuff like that, and just so I don't have to make arrows. How's my trap looking? Did it ever fill back in with rocks? I think I blocked that. Yep, no rocks in there. Good. It's ready to go if I can find a fucking Rex. We are ready to rock. Yeah, those are really weak raptors. Well, raptors are pretty weak. Especially low-level ones. They're actually something you can tame pretty early in the game, and they're pretty cool, and you can level them up, and they actually... If you get a few of them, they work like a... They get like a little... They work in like a pack together. You can take down some big stuff if you get a pack of like three, four raptors running alongside of the one you're riding on the back of. It's kind of fun. But, uh... Let's go here and see if any of these guys aggro me. Let's just get in the fight. Let's just get in the fight and kill all these. I, mean, I really don't even need most of the stuff that we're collecting off these bodies. Um, I definitely want to save all the hide, though, because to make some of the really good saddles that we're going to need, especially for Rexes, the better saddle, the better armor rating it'll have, which that really helps when fighting the bosses. And if I want to bring in 20 tames, I'm going to have to make 20 of them. The saddles take 10, 20,000 pieces of hide to make each one. So I need to save all of the hide, always. So we can get... Even though it seems like, man, we're never going to use all that hide. Uh, yeah, I will. Absolutely. I will definitely use it all. At some point. Okay, I saw a couple Carnos over here. There's one. Level 85, not horrible. Another one back behind it on the beach. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd you go? There he is. Level 10, you suck. Eighty-six, eighty-six, right? I shouldn't level up the bird anymore. I'll just keep it at, at this strength. <laughs> Not gonna let it get any stronger. Yeah, that level ten went down a lot quicker, didn't it? We're just gonna keep flying around this island like we do until we get the good shit to spawn. If we get the good shit to spawn. Hopefully we get the good shit to spawn. There's a couple cats over here we can kill, I think. Is this Bird Island? Yeah, there's a bunch of them here for sure. There's a bunch. No, there's really a lot of people call it Carnivore Island, because everything on this island eats 
meat. Everything. Ah, I tried to catch that thing. Let's shoot and do that again. Everything eats lots of meat. Yeah, I don't Killed it. And um, the island in the south where we started out like the first day we played this on the stream, uh, they call it Herbivore Island because there's no meat eaters at all on that island. Which is kind of nice. Especially for beginners not wanting to get their asses kicked. I don't want to get this drop, but it's not ready yet, so we can't get it. down. We're almost out of stamina anyway, so let's land. Wait it out. Alright. That guy coming down to kill me? I don't know. That wasn't even a blueprint, that was a fully made pike ready to go, so let's swap that out on my our Mastercraft pike. I'll take that. And let's throw this primitive pike right on the ground. Fuck it. So the better pikes that you can get out of drops or off, you know, in caves you can get them too, and better like tools and weapons, they have more damage per hit, and they also have longer, better durability. Um, so the, they don't break as easy. Come on, show me a Rex already, for Christ's sake. Haven't even seen one yet. Not even one. Bunch of raptors, though. Come on, call your friends over. They can join in. There's one. Level forty five week. I ate it first, haha. Uh -huh. Talk about a rainbow Colombian you gave me. Megan XF. That's all it's pretty much worth, Mikey. I don't... You wouldn't want to ever send it in to get graded. It's like... Any circulated Colombian, it's not worth getting graded. Just... But... If you like it, it was only 25 bucks. Can't really go wrong with that, you know? It's cheap enough. Level 105 and it's mate boosted. That means there's another one around here somewhere. get up off the ground. It's pushing me to the ocean, which is a little sus. Where's its friend? There's its friend. Yeah, when you get the high ground with the bird, like, you can peck the them and knock them back. They, that, that, that one there didn't even hit me once. That was awesome. Level 20. Garbage. Fucking garbage. That's kind of 
fun, isn't it? Missed them. I came in for the pick and I missed. So we'll just land and fight them. You got it because of the toning? Okay. Like he likes his toting, I hear. I need to drop some meat. I need to take a chance and fill up my water. Should have looked first, make sure nothing coming after me. There we go. Get this blue drop. Crop plot blueprint. Don't want that. I already know how to make crop plots. And of course I stopped to fill it with water and it starts raining and I would have got my water filled anyway. So it goes. So it goes. This is fucking brutal, man. I can't believe we can't even get one Rex to spawn, right? What are we doing? What are we doing here? I'm killing everything. Doing, I mean, this is all we can do, really, is keep trying. Silence dead, brah. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, more stuff spawned over here. What is it? What is it? More fucking birds, of course. It's just all birds. Where the hell's the good stuff? Another saber tooth kitty. Another saber tooth kitty over there. Scorpions up here. That's a land and kill them. If I was a Rex, I wouldn't want to be on that island because I'm killing all the food. <laughs> now nah, we can get more food to spawn, don't worry. I can't even see where we're going now because it's so foggy. Shit. Ah, shit. Foggy, foggy, foggy. I don't see any Rexes anyway. Maybe we'll start working on a taming raft. I don't know if I want to build it here, though. Although, it'll give us a little bit of a break while oh, it's foggy. Give us something to... Maybe we'll start building some of the structures that we need for it. Let's go land over here next to our stuff. Let's go ahead and take this hide. And the chitin. Let's put it in this box so we can deal with it later. Some berries, because they're good for us. Throw that on the ground, and let's start making some stone foundations to use for our boat.
work ourselves work through this rainstorm is what we're gonna do. Or at least the fogginess. nine foundations for the boat that I want to build. At least nine. There's five we can make right there. Just that quick. Few more, three more. There's not. There's eight. ceilings as well. Need to make at least six of those, I think. Maybe more? I don't remember. can't remember how to make this boat that I want to make. At least that many, though. Yeah, that'll be good. Maybe? I don't know. Let's get a bunch more stone, though. Can't harvest that. I can harvest this one. Now it's nice and clear out. Let's go looking for that Rex. We got some stuff done. We got some stuff done there. Let's make a few more ceilings about that. Five more. That's going to be good. Seven ceilings, wood, wood, stone, thatch, thatch, and that. All right, let's just go get that 150 Rex that's going to be sitting over here. It's going to be a level 150. I can feel it. I can feel it. We've paid our dues. I believe in. Let's go. Let's go. This way around the island. We've been going the other way the whole time. So this way. It's gonna make a difference. I know it will. There's a Rex over there. Be high level. Come on, baby. 90. 90 is about the highest we've had spawn. 90, huh? Ugh, do we? Ah, shit. We, you know we've ki we killed the 90 the other day, I think, because it wasn't high enough. It wasn't what we wanted. It just wasn't there. I don't know. We might kill that thing. Yeah, that's all I'm seeing. There's nothing else over here. Ninety. Ah, oh, shit. No, I'm not gonna, not gonna be on a little 90. That's gonna be, uh, bird food in a minute. Oh! It was pushing me down on the ground a little bit.
Why do I want to Rex on this island? It's not that I want to Rex on this island, I just want to Rex. And this island is where... is one of the best places to get Rexes, because there's several spawn points for Rexes on this island. And... There's nothing... I mean, there's other stuff that's dangerous here, but... I can kill pretty much anything on this island. There's other parts on the map where Rexes spawn, but there's other stuff that can jack with me that I don't want to get involved with. That was a 145 RG. Eh, we're not here to get an RG. We didn't build a fucking RG trap. Ooh. Hold up. What egg is that? That's an RG egg, huh? Maybe take that, huh? It's gonna aggro any RGs anywhere near. I'll take it, though. Hell yeah. And that's just a regular, that's, that's a non, that's just a regular egg. It hasn't been fertilized, so you can't really grow anything from it. You can't raise a, a baby from it. They made it a little easier to see what level each dino is. Like that one, I've seen the thing pop up a few times, still couldn't read the level. I think it was 125? Yeah, 125, okay. It's really hard to see. Where'd that Rex go? It's over here, okay. Let's just get over here. Let's just make sure that's a level 90. Yeah. Look at it, it's climbing the damn fucking mountain there, isn't it? Busy fighting the wrong bird, man. You should be fighting me, bro. I'm the one you gotta worry about. You wanna get softened up by the other dude? Go for it. Go for it. Whoa, it's pushing me in the water. That would have been bad. Oh, if I would have went in the water, it would have dismounted me. Oh, dude, I gotta be careful. It would have dismounted me and would have ate my damn face off. Like, literally. Face off. They took his face off. Face off. Dude, that was a fucking great movie, wasn't it? I was like, get away from the water! Yeah, exactly. The water's toxic in this game, like, on a, on a bird. Because not only does it dismount you, the bird goes, like, flying away. Here, I'll, I'll demonstrate. I'll go over here to a safe spot and I'll demonstrate. In case you guys don't believe me and you think I'm just being dramatic. Make sure there's nothing following me over here, no? So we're flying along, right? We're fighting stuff. And we go in for a landing, and up oh, we get dismounted. Oh shit! Where's my bird? Where's my bird? I can't get on my bird. Oh shit! I can't. Where's my bird? Get over here! I need to get on my bird. Okay. So all that time, the Rex would have taken like three bites of me and killed me, probably. Take his face off. <laughs> Mikey, have you ever seen Face Off? You know what we're talking about. I don't need that many more RG talons. Let's get rid of that. Primitive hatchet garbage. Uh, slingshots and spears that I'm taking out of these things. Those are all garbage. Hatchets. Picks are garbage. Man, I got a lot of arrows. Let's take 200 of these arrows off of here. Put them in the box. What's in the box? 200 more arrows are going in the box. That's 40 pounds we just took off ourselves. Could eat a peach for days. <laughs> Caster Troy? You missed the coin club meeting, Randy! Ah, shit. What were you doing, napping? Come on, Randy, when are you gonna get your shit together? It's once a month, man. 
Second Friday, every month, 6 p.m., 9 p.m. for you. <laughs> Don't worry, Randy, we, we recorded it. As JW says, we recorded it just for you. <laughs> you didn't win the get. Spoiler alert, Randy, you didn't win the giveaways. You weren't there to get in, so you didn't win the giveaway. You slept all evening. I don't want to work. I just want to sleep all fucking day. That's not how the song goes, Randy. That's not how the song goes. A sword blueprint. Yeah. I turned the loot quality down. It's still a little too good. That was a 370 damage sword blueprint. We're never going to make swords anyway. Swords in this game fucking blow. I mean, I guess they're okay, but... Nah. We do our killing with guns and animals. Guns and dinos do our killing. We're not going to go up to anything with a sword and kill it. He was sleeping with the chicken? He wasn't sleeping with no chicken. Settle down. Randy, you got a chicken? Nah, I bet you it was a, one of the cats. Because Randy's definitely got an animal of some sort in his room, and I bet you it's one of the cats. Randy's, Randy ain't got no chicken in his room. Come on. Level 40 and level 20. You guys suck. You guys are shitty carnos. I'm just gonna get right in the middle of ya and fight ya. Oh, you got mice? Now, Randy, are they mice that are in cages? Are they mice that are actually in cages? Or just, like, wild mice in your room, like in the walls? I think there's a big difference there. <laughs> See, it's only let me hit for 57 damage. And then when one of them dies, it lets me get 86 damage. That means there was a male and a female. And they were mate boosting each other. So when you have a male and a female together, they get mate boosted and they uh, deal more damage and take less damage. So that's why when we do fights, like when we go to boss fights, we gotta make sure they're not all males and they're not all females. We definitely need a mate boost on each other. Now, free roaming wild mice in your room. Yeah, you mean pests. And you don't put down the mice traps? Come on, man. Let's uh, gamma back up because it's getting dark. Yeah, we just oh, I moved one of the other options just a little bit. I don't want to do that. There we go. I don't want to be doing this a whole other stream, do I? Come on. Just give me a fucking high level T Rex so we can get this over with, for fuck's sake. What kind of mice traps do you prefer, Randy? The old school ones that snap their heads? Or the glue ones where they just stand in glue and die over the course of a day or two? Or which ones which ones do you like? <laughs> do it another stream. Oh, Banks just wants me to stop playing this and go play Minecraft. Well, we know what your vote is, Banks. We know. We know. K3. <laughs> I don't think we're going to start calling it K3, are we? I mean... Level 40. Did I already kill this? Or did another one just spawn? What in the hell? What in the hell? What in the hell? We are losing stamina. Let's land and rest up a second. That's why they're up here with... Oh, you don't like any traps? That's why you have them? Yeah, exactly. Fat Knuckles is out in Fall Guys, really? Did you get it, Banks? 
Banks, how close are you to getting that golden wolf? Because I know you, I saw you did a stream about it. Like you're grinding for it. How close are you? Speaking of Fall Guys, guess who got to play the Season 6 maps this morning? Four different maps I played this morning. I think it was four, maybe it was five maps. Hmm, I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about the names of each of them. I don't know if I'm even allowed to tell you the names of the maps, but... There were a couple that were I thought were pretty hard and frustrating, but there were a couple that were pretty fun, too. Should be an interesting season six, at least. About 204 wins away. Your bird killed a T-Rex, but... Yeah, I've leveled this bird up like crazy. In the- in mostly in the health, so it can take a beating. And it's a killer. Normally these birds have about 2,000 hit points of health. I've leveled this one up a ton in the health. This one has 8,800 points of health, so it can beat some ass. And let's go ahead and drop a bunch of raw meat while we're in here. We don't need it. About 204 wins away. Yeah, so season, uh... Season 6 should be pretty good, I think. I still don't know exactly when it's coming out. I think still in early December is what I've read about it. Ooh, there's a tech raptor over here. Robot raptor, Marmello. Robot raptor in the mix. Hope these RGs don't kill it first. God, I hope it's not super high level. I want it if it's really high level, but I can't stop. It's the only raptor that survived. It's got to be the highest level. Come on. That was a level 72. That's not that great. I'll take its electronics, oil, and scrap metal, though. <laughs> hey! Actually, we're gonna go and drop the scrap metal, because that's heavy as shit. You played Season 6? Are you a hacker? No, I'm part of the Board of Beans, and they had a beta testing this morning, Banks. I got to play them for an hour and a half, 90 minutes. We got to play the new season. There's no finals, though, so the couple shows where I made... It, 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 it was a playlist where it was only the new maps, but then if you made the finals, it was just Jump Showdown, so it's like... As soon as we made it, everybody made it to the finals, most people just jumped in the slime to quit so you could go back and play the new levels some more. But... Yeah. So there's no new final in Season 6, apparently. Or at least not yet. But, no, I thought, uh... A couple of the maps, it's like, but, you know, I got frustrated at first because I kept losing. Like, I couldn't even qualify on this one. I just couldn't even qualify. I couldn't figure it out. But then eventually I started figuring it out, and it's a hard... I, I kind of like that, though, because I remember back to, like, some of the Season 5 maps, like Lily Leapers. The first few times I played that, I wasn't even close to qualifying, but now I can qualify just about every time. Um, there's, a, there's one map, though, that kind of sucked. Um... Anyway, but the way it works is it, it's a it's a level it's a it's one where you can start it out like with 60 players, right? And you start out in four rows, you know, your players in the front row, back row, middle row, whatever. And I started in the back row almost every time, okay? And when I started in the back row, it just gets there's a whole bunch of like little choke points and places you go where like there's no way to catch up. So I don't care how good you are, even if Banks learned it. If he starts in the back row on that level, there's almost a 0% chance. Almost a 0% chance you're going to be able to finish in first. Now, will you still be able to qualify? Yes. It's going to be a lot harder to qualify from the back row, but it'll be doable. But So I gave them my feedback. I'm like, look, I understand you want this to be like... I thought this was level 45. This thing's a lot harder to kill. If it's level 145, I'm gonna get pissed. Okay, it was 45. 
Um, yeah, every time I started the back row, I think the best I did was like 25th place. So it was like really unfair that, um, that would get like, like on some maps, some of the race maps, it really doesn't make that much of a difference if you start in a front row or a back row because, you know, it all evens out really quick. This one, it made a huge difference, and I told them that, and hopefully they figure out some way to balance that a little more. I don't know if they will, though. Who knows? They're not, they don't listen to me. But I left them my comments. We'll see. Shout out for Roblox player? Yeah, we you ask for that every time. I don't know why. Why don't you shout yourself out? Do you do videos? Do you do anything? Is there a reason to shout you out? Hey Dakota, is this PvP? No. I, you can't stream ARK on official PvP. No, nope, just not you just can't do that. If I was doing that, then uh someone like yourself or somebody else would just immediately What level was this? Level one hundred? Okay. You guys would just, as soon as I log off, you'd come raid me and take all my stuff. Which has happened every time I've ever streamed PvP official. I get offline raided, like, fucking two minutes after I log off. And that's toxic as shit. Oh, five, garbage. Two hits kills that. So yeah, we you, you can't play this game. You can't play it. You can't stream official. Not a chance. Not a frickin' chance. Oh, come on. No, I would online. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you actually would, but I'm just saying every, every time I've done it, which has only been a couple times, just screw around, play along, build a little base, tame a few things. And then the next time I log in, you've been killed by somebody, and I checked the tribe log, and it happened, like, 20 minutes after I ended my stream or something. Like, not a coincidence, okay? Not a coincidence. Not even close. What is this guy doing over here? Where'd he go? There's this other cat around the corner there. Now we're just going, we're just trying to find a high, we're killing everything over here on the island, Dakota. Um, and trying to get a high level Rex to spawn, which is really hard to do on the island. I know I could go over to like Ragnarok and get one a lot sooner, but again, this is just single player and just trying to get it to happen on the island. You'd say you'd cage people, what, whatever, whatever. When you're starting out with nothing, you just can't go cage people. What are you talking about? You start out with nothing in Ark, and you build, like, a little thing, and... And then somebody that has, like, part of a huge tribe that has everything, and... They fly over on fucking dragons or whatever and kill you if they... Or if they just offline rage you and... Blow up your whole base with... Unlimited C4 that they got with... Duplication glitches and stuff, and... Online officials just too toxic. Uh... It's toxic even if you're not streaming, but if you're streaming it, it's very toxic. I... there's nothing fucking spawning. This is bullshit. Go to the snow. Go to the snow for what? I don't have any fur armor. I won't last long in the snow. You mean the find Rexes? Nah, there's a lot more bad stuff in the snow. At least here on the, the Carnivore Island, there's bad stuff, but I can kill all the stuff with my bird. In the snow, they have uh, Euteranuses, they have um, they have Perlovias that'll jump out and knock me off my bird, and there's a lot of other mean shit I don't want to deal with that is not on this island. So, this island has wreck spawns, it can spawn low levels, it can spawn high levels. So far, all we've been spawning is low levels. But we gotta give it a minute, because they just killed everything on the island, pretty much, except the birds. We gotta give it a minute to spawn some more stuff. You killed someone with Ebola and bolted them off. Well, okay, great. You're alpha on Bob and... I don't even know what that means, Bob and Easy Craft, I don't know. 
I used to play Ark a whole bunch maybe about two or three years ago. And we, part of a big mega tribe had lots of fun. We had all this shit. We had bases like on all the different maps. And it was it was fun because we could have any tame we want. We, we wouldn't fight big raids and everything. And then we ended up getting wiped. And, you know, a lot of cool stuff, you know. That was a way too high of a level Ascendant Sword. Um, but yeah, I haven't played much in the last, like, two years at all. I pretty much quit playing right when Extinction came out. I didn't like the Extinction map at all. So I pretty much said, fuck this game. Oops, what did I just drop? A hundred stone arrows? Eh, whatever. Fuck it, I got more of them. I don't feel like getting off my bird and getting them. But let's turn the gamma back down since it's bright. Bob is a server that is Fibercraft, Easycraft, same. This is... Okay, yeah, well... Yeah, I don't play. I, I, I've i only just played on official PvP. That's all I ever... And I did, uh... I did the uh, small tribes with a couple friends for a little bit. small tribe servers. Those were okay. When they first came out, they were okay. But there were a lot of people that cheated, too. Like, I think you could only have a tribe of a... Th I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was four people, or maybe it was six people. Whatever it was, there was a limit of how big your tribe could be. But, like... All the players that were at least good at it would just, like, ally with, like... Like, if it was four people, they'd ally with four of their other friends and that had their own tribe, and they'd all just work together, and even though it's against the rules, they would just work together, and so basically they had twice the size of a tribe. Cheating. What it was. Get over here, you fucking birds. How about you die? I'm on PS4. PlayStation 4. There's a Carno. What level are you? Oh, he's running right at me. He didn't give me a chance to look. I'm gonna kill him. If it's a high level, I'm gonna get pissed. Nah, he's bleeding too quick to be a high level. Level 65, fuck that. Fuck that. You having trouble there? Nah, I'm not really having trouble. I can take him out. I've leveled up uh, this, this RG. I got tons of health. It's got 9,000 health now, so... I can I can take a beating. I can, I can kill pretty much any level Rex that spawns too. So just gotta just take a little beating. Uh, I don't know if I want to jump off and get this with that saber tooth right there. Probably not a good idea. I just start, look, this is only day 39 of this save, so I just started this. I've only seen one giga on this map so far, and it's a level 35, so... I'm not really gonna do anything with that. I'm not gonna tame it, for sure. Yeah, it's too low. Oh, that was weird. Just saw inside my character's face. That's scary as shit. I don't want to pause right there. That was freaky. Patchy Rhino Saddle, 119 armor, jeez, okay. And we'll get rid of that medium crop plot blueprint. Got enough of those, don't we? Anything else spawning on the island? There's two more saber teeth. Saber tooths, saber teeths. What the 
fuck you call them. Well, 15 though. Call that one dead. Dead in three bites. That's what we call it. What'd you say, bam? I don't know what you're talking about. Now, I mean, if you're playing an arc and you're just starting out, all you gotta do is tame a high-level RG and level it up and kill just about anything in this game. Anything that's, like, gonna spawn naturally wild. Yeah, you can't, like, high-level, like, things that other players have and stuff might be tough, but... For wild creatures, RG will kill them all, pretty much. Most, uh, not, not everything, but a lot of things. Bam is an ARC YouTuber. Okay, I don't know that. I did not know that. I don't know, I watched some ARC videos and stuff. Maybe I've seen it, I just don't recognize the name offhand. Dude, I ain't getting shit to spawn. Well, I mean, actually, that's exactly what I'm getting to spawn, is a bunch of shit. Scorpions and raptors down here. Alright, let's get them. Clear them out, and maybe we'll get a Rex to spawn in this place. Oh, there's some saber tooths out of the wild. Yeah. Kill them, too. Hey, JW, I hope you win. Oh, that reminds me. You entered a lottery to buy a PS5. Oh. Do they have a wheel? Because I don't want... Uh, if, it's a, if it's a lottery that where they spin a wheel, that would be a lot more fun, wouldn't it? So it's a lottery to win a PS5. Well, good luck. I mean, at this point, it's like... I thought for sure by now. I mean, I'm sure... I don't understand it's still China virus and supply chain crisis is... Keeping me from just going on the Amazon right now and buying a PS5. I mean, I thought, like, it's been over a year. Shouldn't we be able to just go on the Amazon and buy a PS5 right now if we fucking want to? Come on, man. But nope. Fucking China virus keeping us from doing that. But luckily, still, right now, I'm not feeling like that's a big deal. There is not one game that's out on PS5 that I really, really want to play that's not on PS4. You know? Which surprises me after it's been over a year since PS5 de debuted, I believe. There's not one game that I feel like I'm missing out on. Now that might change soon, I don't know, but so far, I have not, I've felt zero pressure to go get a PS5 or to try to fight for one or, or to pay some little fucking prick kid a couple hundred bucks over retail just to buy one on eBay or something, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's just weird that they haven't really released any good games for PS5, really. Unless they're doing it on purpose and holding games back because they know not everybody can get it yet and they don't want to piss off their fans. I don't know. It's a scratcher. It's a pull tab. It's a... <laughs> PS5 could have floated from China. Exactly. Trade it for that GSA CC Morgan that Kittle has. I have a GSA CC Morgan in my store. Really, Mikey? If I do, it might be sold. Because <laughs> I know I sold one at the last show. I didn't mark it as sold, I think. If you're talking about the one I got priced for 400 bucks, that's proof-like, that's, that's not available. That coin sold. So that's not even available, Mikey. So quit drooling over it. If you're talking about the Deep Mirror proof-like that's on there for like, I don't know, 900 or 1,000 bucks or something, that one is available. But the $400 one sold at the Glendale show in, at the end of October. Yeah, the one that's a thousand bucks is available. 
I'd even give it to you for nine. I'd, t I'd give you ten bucks off, Mikey. I'd sell to you for nine ninety. How about that? Just cuz. Just cuz. <laughs> Alright, what else do we got in our inventory that's kind of weighing us down? Not too much. Bunch of, oh, 12 spe or four spears. That sucks. Got to drop the spears. How many stone arrows are we carry in? 234? That's probably too much. Alright, we sat and wasted a little bit of time. Let's go find ourselves that Rex that just spawned somewhere. It had to have, right? It had to have. Oh, I thought you were going to give me that one on the two-year plan. Wait, what are you talking about? The $400, uh... CC? No. There's no two-year plans, Randy. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even like the two-month plan that some people put me on. Even if we're not finding the Rex that we want, or even a high-level Carno that we would take for a while, but... I mean, we are still killing lots of stuff and collecting lots of hide that we always need. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty, kitty. Mew, 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 mew. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Alright. You need four MS67s for a PS1. I don't know what you're talking MS67s, but... If you got MS67 Morgans, I'll trade you a PS5 for one of those. I'll go find a PS5. And... MS67 Morgans, they go for like eight, nine hundred bucks right now or something like that. Just even common dates. Might be able to, we might, might find, be able to find a shitty MS67 for like 775 or 750, but it would have a problem on it or be, it would look ugly. But usually, you don't. It's hard to find a real ugly one. I don't think I'm just giving things enough time to spawn. It's like um, there's just nothing on this fucking island, man. Oh, the Iowa commands? Okay. We don't care about no CC Morgans. Exactly, right? CC Morgans are common. <laughs> Let's switch these berries over to my inventory and eat them all, because we get a little bit of water out of them. And we get some food value from them. Better than just throwing them on the ground. Let's head back up to this corner. And we're gonna see anything that spawned. Come on, man! There's some cats chasing a bird. Bird fighting a scorpion. Come on, man. Dude, this, like, even yesterday, like, when we were doing this, it was spawning a lot of Carnos, at least. I'm not even getting any Carnos right now. It's just getting all low level bullshit dinosaurs like these. Like fucking scorpions. What the fuck do I need this for? Bullshit.
Yeah, finding a nicely toned Iowa half, not the easiest thing. Not the easiest thing at all. It's just one of those you don't find. I mean, they're out there, but... It's not one of those that you find a lot of toned examples. All right, I think we might fly away and go do something else for a little bit while, but... MS-69? Well, that's NGC, though. Not graded correctly. That's what that stands for. <laughs> Hilarious. No, I think uh, PCGS might even have... Maybe, maybe not a 69 Iowa. I know they've got MS-69 Classic Commems, though. I've seen an Oregon Trail in MS-69 before. Those are nice. I know there's a few others that they've graded in 69 before. Not many. Not many. Got the purple drop coming down. Let's head on over. Maybe we take this time. Maybe we'll fly across there. Get on the beach. And build ourselves that boat that we want to build. We still at least get something fucking accomplished, right? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna head over here, fill up our water, fill up our water skin, take a little break, do a little swimming in the water, drink water, wait for this drop to come down, hopefully get something worthwhile. Watch our bird take a big dump in front of everybody. Boop. Boop. You think there's one graded 69? Maybe. Eraser saddle. Don't need one of those. Definitely don't need that, but I guess we'll keep it. In case we do tame one someday. Alright, we're gonna fly one more time around. Just one more. Just one more. I just have a feeling that we can't leave without looking once more. Not even gonna kill like these saber tooth. We're just gonna fly and look. If there's no Rex, we're out of here. If there is a Rex, at least then we know there's hope. Maybe we'll keep jacking around. I ain't seeing even a fucking Carno on this island, damn it. More saber tooths, scorpions, and birds. Over there. Scorpions. Scorpions and scorpions. Is that a Carno? Did a Carno spawn over there? Oh my god. What? What? Level 40? Fucking trash. Fucking trash. Ten grand. Yeah, it's, this is crazy when you get to like some of those. It doesn't even matter what they look like because there's people that. Especially in the popular sets like Classic Commemoratives or Lincoln Cents or Morgan Dollars. They don't even care what the coins look like. They'll buy whatever it is just based on the label on the holder. Because they need the damn registry points. And they're competing and they want to beat some other rich but rich dude that wouldn't even care what it looks like either. Just silly. It's just kind of silly. Like, they don't even care what the coin looks like. They do, it doesn't matter. It's all about the number on the holder. But, it's their money. Whatever. Alright, so let's take all this. Let's take all this. Let's... 
Grab the stuff and get the fuck off this waste of trip island. Two visible lines of toning, like, really? And it's not like tab toning, right? It's not. It's just something weird, huh? That's weird. Water break while we're flying. Ah, so good. Water's good. Let's go down this coast just a tad. And maybe we build the raft here? Do we build a raft here? Do we? Here we go down a little further. It's not really safe here. This beach, there's a lot of bad stuff that spawns over here. I don't see anything bad right now. And there's this little shit that we can just pick and kill. That. Um, I mean, right here, I think we have most of the resources we need, and unless something really bad jumps off the cliff, we should be okay. And having a little sausage body like this thing fucking walking around, this is a good sign, because if, like, this guy's alive, it means there's probably nothing too dangerous around here. Because any, like, really big carnivore would have just ate that motherfucker right away, right? Right? I think so. Okay. Let's put all this hide on him. And this chitin. We're gonna get to work. So what we need is we need wood, and I do need at least one stack of this hide on my inventory. Thank you very much. We gotta build a raft first. That's step one. Rafts require wood. That's probably enough right there. Let's see what else we need. Crafting. Raft right there. Boom. Takes a little bit of time to craft the raft. No, Mikey, there's going to be... I would hope that even the graders at NGC would know that if it's been cleaned or not, and they're not going to give a coin an MS-69. I've seen some ugly high-grade coins that, like, maybe get a spot after they've graded them and stuff, or things end up a little ugly. So let's lower the sail. Options. Hide the sail. Okay. I like that. I like it. I like it. Um, I got foundations. I need to make some stone pillars real quick. I'm going to sink some foundations in this boat. Let's, I'll show you guys how to do that. Crafting stone pillars. Where are you guys at? Stone pillars. Let's make five of them, sure. What the fuck? We're gonna take stone foundations. Put them on my hotbar, and then stone pillars. Put them on my hotbar. We're gonna drive the raft. We're gonna place a pillar right there. Because that automatically centers it if we do that from our driving position. Now we're going to place a foundation back behind it. We're going to pick up this pillar. Place a pillar in the foundation. Place another foundation one little spot lower. Pick up the pillar. Pick up this foundation. you got to do this fast enough, or otherwise you waste materials. Then you place another foundation at a snap point a little lower. I don't think we're getting the snap points, though. We're going too fast, it's not working. Maybe it is. You do this, and you can sink the foundations down a little bit. Pick up. Pick up. Boom. 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 Yeah, I don't think this is working. It's showing me the lower stat point, but it's just putting it in the same spot. I don't know if this I don't know if we're doing it. Feels like we're just building the same shit over and over. Let's just take our time if we see there's supposed to be two snap points. 
One high, one low. If we did this right. Yeah, there's high, there's low. It's it's just not fucking working. It's being toxic. Let's see if we can get it to work. Yeah, shit. Whoa. Alright, let's pick this shit up. I don't know what the fuck to do now. Can't get this thing to build correctly. Let's try one more time from the different angle. Whoops, I didn't want to drive. How do you get the cycle through without building? Without punching, I mean. I was able to... How do you cycle through the points? See, this side it shows me the lower. But when it builds, it builds it even. Fucker. Let's try this side. Nope. Fucking bullshit. Whoa, no, I don't want to demolish the raft. Pick up. Pick up. Damn it! This fucking game. There's another way to cycle through all the points, isn't there? Maybe I, maybe I can't do this with stone foundations. Maybe I gotta do it with wooden foundations. You, no, I've done this before. You don't have to do it with fucking wood. But just for science, let's try it out. And I need more wood to try it. Fucking dumb game. And I don't know if it's any of the single player settings I put in about structure collision or anything that are, is making this difficult. I hope not. But it'd be disappointing if that's what's doing this. Where's a wooden foundation at? Give me that. Wooden foundation. Let's just make two of them. Let's also go in here and craft. What else can we craft? We need to make some stone window frames. Let's make one of those. We're a little bit encumbered right now, but that's fine. It's because you're building... Now, I've done this many times in the game. So what it, what we're wanting to do, here's what we're trying to do. We got a pillar that's been centered. It's perfectly centered, so we can build nicely on the boat. And this is where the foundation is. See how it's like a big step up and not flush with the raft? If you put a pillar inside of, some, of a foundation like that, it gives you two different snap points. One that's even with the foundation, and one... If we got there, one that's a little bit lower. You see how it goes a little bit lower? And now it's even. Now it's a little bit lower. Now it's a little bit even. Lower. See how it does that? And, but then when I build it, it goes back up to the even. It usually doesn't do that. I don't know if it's some setting I did on single uh, on this that's making it force up back up to the first spawn point. Anyway, the reason we do that is we lower this one, then we can put another pillar in this one, and then make another one lower, put a pillar in that one, and then keep making it lower until our stone is flush with the surf surface of the raft, and then it just looks cooler, and it's more fun that way. But I don't think it's going to let me do that. But let me try with a wooden foundation just to see if I can get it to work. It's definitely a lower snap point right there. And then it pops right up. Well, let's see if I can span... Here, this is maybe the other way to do it. No. Shit. I can get here and I can actually put a... If this works, I could put a stone underneath this. But then it just snaps up and replaces the wood. Nah, it's it's got to be a setting that I have on this thing. So you know what? Let's just build... Let's just build it a little bit too high. Whatever. It's not going to look as good as the raft I wanted to make. Whatever. I'll live. I'll fucking live. 
Because what's really cool is if you can lower the foundation so where they're flush, you could actually put a stone foundation right here. I can still do it like that. But right now I won't be able I can't access the steering because the foundation's blocking it. If if you do it just right, you can lower the foundations enough to where the foundation is still spammed into this, which protects the back of your boat from other players mostly. I don't have to worry about that on single player. But you'd still be able to access this to drive from the back, which is kind of cool. Let's just put this out a little bit and make sure I can swim under this. And, yep, we can still drive from reaching the back and get up onto the boat. So, yeah, that's the thing. That's just going to suck that I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to put a foundation there. Fuck. And MS69 really doesn't look like it deserves. Yeah, rich people don't care. No, so what I'm doing is I'm building on this raft. I'm building, I'm gonna, and I'm actually gonna go like this too. You'll see here in just a second. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. Um, uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter which side I do it on. Just trying to think aloud here. Can I do another foundation off the side of this first? That's what I should test. Okay, oh, now that's ceiling. Foundation. Now I can't do any more foundations. Okay. But I can do ceilings off to the side. Do a lot of so I can make a big ass boat. I'm, I'm gonna make like a what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a taming pen. Okay, I can't put it there, but I can put them there. That kind of fucking sucks. Um, how do, can I do them on this side too? What do I need to make more ceilings, more stone? Okay. So basically what it is, is I'm, uh, I'm making like a trap on this boat, basically. I'm going to make a trap so that I can go around and drive around. And if I see anything from my travels on my boat that I want to tame, I can lure it. It's just a mobile trap that I'm making. Basically. be a lot cooler if I could fucking just m make those flush the way I wanted to, uh... So you can't do it from the corners. But I could do this and... Yeah, let's... Just seeing... How, I don't know how big I actually want to make this, or how I want to do this just yet. I think this is how it's going to be, though. What else do I need to make more? I need more stone again. Yep, more stone. Do something laid a fucking egg over here. What is it? Moss chops? I really don't want that. I don't need to make this too big either. I might have made this too big. I, 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 I've made a trap like this before. I don't really remember how to make it. To be honest. I'm just trying to wing it. Let's just see if this works. So if I do this, and this, and then from this side, I just want to make sure I can... What do I need to make, though? I need to make angled craft. I need to make angled... Sl or sloped walls is what it is. A sloped wall left and a sloped wall to the right. I need to make two of those. I really need to make more than that, but I need to start with two of those. Okay, and that's gonna get me this. 
That's perfect. Do the other one. Right there. And now I can do a sloped ceiling on that. I'll put a doorway there. Now, is that what it, am I doing this right? What the fuck am I trying to do here? Yeah, this is going to be right. That's going to go up, that's going to go up. And this is going to be like a taming thing. And then I can do stuff over here. This is too big. I don't need this. That's too big over there. I need to make... Crafting a sloped ceiling. Or sloped ceiling. So many fucking pieces in this thing, it's hard to read. Not a stone ceiling, a sloped ceiling. Where the hell are you at in here? Sloped stone roof. Need two of those. And then I need to make a door frame. I think I already got a door frame, but let me just make one anyway. And then let me make one more of those and one more of those. So let's put the door frame in there. Let's put the left wall on now. Right above that. Nope, not right there, you fucker. Right there. How hard was that fucking to do? Okay, now we need sloped ceiling. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh shit, I gotta do four of them actually. Okay. Hmm. That's that. Am I doing this fucking right? I don't even fucking know, man. I think I am. That's sound ceiling. I don't need that. So the point, the goal of this is this is my raft. I'll be driving it around, right? I'll come over here. Like if I wanted to see something on this land that I want to tame, I would drive my boat like this into the damn ground. Right? That's the plan. And because I can't lower this shit, this isn't down into the ground. So this ain't gonna fucking work. Unless I can build a wooden ramp off of that. Which is gonna look like shit, but let me see. Wooden ramp, where are you? Normally that would be flush with the ground. So then what I would do is I would get on my bird. Right? I would hit something with my bird. And then fly right up this way. It would be chasing me. It'd run up the ramp and then drop into... I'll, I'll make a box around that, you know, and it would be stuck. And then I'd be able to tame things that are stuck on my boat. That's the goal. Yeah, I don't know what Marmelo was saying there either. Something about Commonwealth veterans and stuff. Yeah, it was Veterans Day yesterday. Yep. So, actually, now it's too dark. Nobody can see anything. I might just scrap this boat. Maybe I'll have to do this another time. Maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to... I'll disable the structure collision setting that I put on. Because... This whole boat should be flush with the ground the way I would normally build it. And I should be able to run... Well, I, it does let me run right up onto it. It's kind of glitchy that it does that. I thought I'd hit the jump. But will it let a dino run right up onto that ramp and then down into a taming pen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I'm not that confident that it will. Let me see if I can actually make a wooden ramp or, and see how shitty that'll look. Where's wooden ramp? Damn it. Right there. Inventory. 
replace the structure. Yeah, it will. So it'll let me do a wooden ramp off that on the front. So I guess we could try to do this. I don't love this. I don't love this at all. It's looking like fucking ass. Another one of these? What the fuck? Uh, it says I need wood. Go fucking figure. Uh, window frame. We can make another one of those. Can I crawl to a tree? Where's the nearest tree? I can go this speed towards a tree. Come on now. Come on now. Get me to these trees. Super slow motion. New Rochelle. It's bananas. Bananas. The new Rochelle, huh? New Rochelle, alright. Yay, we got wood now. Let's turn and get more stone. Thought that moss chop was making noises like it was running from something. Okay, we'll make one more sloped roof. I think that's all I need. We need to make one more wooden ramp to make this thing look like shit. We need to make some stone walls. At least I'd say three of those. Actually more than that, probably five. And then more window frames. Okay. Let's head back and place what we got to see so we don't make too much and make stuff we don't need. I'm still encumbered though. What the fuck? Oh, I need. I got tons of stone. I just need wood to make stuff. Okay. So let's go ahead and place these sloped wall ceilings. Actually. Whoa, that's glitchy as fuck. Come on, give me the fucking right snap point. There you go. There's that and there's that. We're gonna go ahead now and place some walls. Like this one. And we don't want a wall there. We want our other sloped wall that we made. Tuck it in there. Like so. Okay, liking it, liking it. Kinda liking it, right? Okay, let's make some other walls. Stone wall, or do we want to do window frames here? Ugh. We're gonna go with windows. Nah, we made walls already. Well, we definitely want windows here, so let's place these down first. It's glitchy, You're giving us like two different snap points. That's all right. that, there's that. So this is going to be an area where we're going to trap stuff and we're putting windows here so while it's in there I'll be able to stand here and shoot it through those windows whatever we capture. That's the plan. That is the plan, man. Let's just, we're not going to do it from inside there. Nope, that's the wrong way. So we need it to be the green snap point, not the blue snap point. Okay. This is toxic, brah. Pick up stone wall. Go back. Build with stone wall. Did it do it the right way that time? No, it didn't. Yeah, I, I did something that's made the building difficult in this game. Some setting I did or something, because... Usually it doesn't do that and glitch between the two. Usually it shows you one... Or the other, like right there. And then... 
And usually you tap the I, I Maybe I'm tapping the wrong button. Whoops. I just actually built over that wall somehow, didn't I? Jeez, what the hell did I do? Pick that up. I doubled up that wall. Um... Looks like a lean-to you built in Stony State on the summit. You're just sticks and pine needles. Really? <laughs> I hate this boat. I hate this fucking boat. I, I guess I don't know how to switch between the snap points without punching. Seems weird. I don't remember always punching every time I'd flip through the different snap points on stuff. There we go, I got I got it to snap the way I wanted it. Good. Now, now the others should snap a little easier. There we go. Of course that didn't fucking work. Come on, man. Well, that's one thing they never changed in this game is the building has never been easy in this game. Never. Never fucking been easy. Okay, now things will run up here, drop down into here, they'll get trapped. It's a big area, I can trap something big. But I can't trap anything that it can walk over two walls. And They're telling me Rexes can walk over two walls, so I don't know if I'll be able to trap a Rex in this. But I gotta build this wall, and in the back, what I want to do is build a dinosaur gate, is what I'd really like to do. So let's make... Um, one, two... Three, four, five, wait, six plus two is eight. Let's make eight more window frames. That's what we gotta do. Craft window frames. Where are you at? Where are you at? Window frame. I can actually make eight right there. Nice. For sure. Worked outside for 12 hours a day with no shelter. Not a tree stump. Well, yeah, I mean... If you got that kind of time and you know you're there, it's... Fuck, that's a good idea. And I'm gonna make at least one more door frame. Can I make a door frame? No, I can't. What do I need? I need wood to make a door frame. So let's see if I can hit this tree. So that was me collecting stone and wood at the same time, so let's just finish that off. And we'll make that door frame. Okay, where is that at? Where was that at that we needed that? And what else were we gonna make? Let's make... Can we make a fucking dino gateway? Stone dino gateway. We can. We actually fucking can. Can we make the gate for it? No, we need just a hair more stone and a little bit more wood. So let's just uh, give this one whack, two whacks, go find some wood. Are we going to be able to find any more wood, or did I take all the wood on this beach? We fucking destroyed this beach. Here's a log. There we go. All right, let's see if this will work. It's not going to look pretty. Unfortunately, I need to do this. Damn it! This fucking building in this game. Put it over here. At least, I mean, a couple of years ago in the game, they actually added the, the feature where you can pick up things when you screw up. Like, you used to not be able to do that. Like, so you had to be really, really careful when you were placing, like, really expensive stuff because you had one chance to place it right. And if you didn't place it right, you lost it. Oh, you can, dest you can de always destroy things and get half the materials. But, like, it was painful. Like, if you were placing down something like a forge or something that you just spent tons and tons of uh, resources to build, 
Damn, well, let's just destroy this. Let's see if this works. What? Oh, dude, it got rid- I forgot! You uh, got rid of the one above it, too. I forgot you gotta have support below. Shit. Fail. F and chat. There we go, that's the right spot. And then the stone window frame above. Okay, there we go. Because we gotta have some way to get in and out of here. Let's place this. 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 That. That. And we need one more. Can we even make it? Do we got enough stuff on us? Probably not. Actually, we do. But I think I needed that to make the gate that I was just gonna do. I didn't make that gate yet. Nah, eh, fuck it. Now do I not have enough to make a gate? Probably don't. Nope. I need f four or six pieces of fucking wood. Or so, six pieces of stone. Luckily there's stones on the beach. Three, six, bam, craft, gate, boom, done. Oops. Oops. Rip says Archaeology Mikey 007. Alright, so now we're going to place the stone dino gateway and we're going to put this at the end of the boat if we can. Pretty much as straight as possible. It's hard looking into the sun doing this, but let's just drop it right there and see what that looks like. That's pretty fucking spot on, man. Holy crap, you couldn't do that better if you tried, could you? Now we'll put a gate on that. Boom, boom. Now this is what I'm fucking talking about. We'll put a door on this, of course, at some point, but... I can drive this bitch around, chase dinos right up into there. I should have put the door over here, so I could run out easier, if I'm on foot, but that's okay. But there's no really... I could connect this with, like, something to walk over. Like, I'd do another ceiling off here, and then a ceiling there, and make it to where I could get over there easier. And then this will be a little area. I could maybe put, like, some storage boxes and some taming, like, some narcotics and arrows and stuff. Now we're cooking. Okay, can I pick up my bird? Now, I used to be able to do that. You used to be able to glitch into things and pick them up. They don't let you do that anymore. I'm still kind of pissed off that I couldn't make this flush with the... with the boat, though. We got ourselves a taming raft. I'm gonna try taming something, maybe? I don't know. Gonna find something. Welcome to Jurassic Ark. <laughs> uh, t -t 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 Mikey did not have pizza. Mikey is not going to bed yet. Oh, that's Organizers doing that. And that's Bank Station doing that. Okay. Oops. Hit a rock. There's really nothing to tame on this beach anyway. Let's go back up north. We haven't gone north. Dude, it's so fucking bright, brah. It, it seems stupid that, like, I have to keep doing this. Like, Ark has to know that their daytime is way too bright and their nighttime is way too dark. Like, why do I have to keep changing this five years after the game came out? It's kind of toxic. Almost out of food. Let's eat. Four pieces of meat. Hey, Daniel Grant, how you doing? sucks that you can't like, look 
other a direction other than the way you're going. Like if I turn to look on the shore, the whole boat turns. Should be able to not have to do that, but I guess we'll deal with it. Maybe I'll get that turtle. We could get a high level turtle. I like turtles. Level 25 ain't high level though. Way too bright for my eyes and way too dark to see. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Maybe we should have just stayed over on that island over there. Killing things, looking for Rexes. I don't know, I kind of wanted to build a taming boat. And now that I know, like... I, apparently I don't know how to make them that way. And it... Maybe I need to make it, like, three high walls, too. What the hell is that? Oh, dude. Turtles fighting manta rays right below me. Can I spyglass those guys? There's a level 10 man. I, I just want to see the turtles. Well, we're going to mess with those guys. I don't want to be like Steve Irwin and get the manta ray death. What, too soon? Too soon? Well, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't. I'm not lying. That was weird. If I get it just wrong, the back of the stone platform steals my view. Oh no, we gotta turn. I don't want my bird glitched off by these rocks. What's that? Is that a parasaur? Yeah, sucks. We'll find something to test this thing out. <laughs> Too soon, JW? Sorry. Fill up my water skin since it's raining. I hate being out here in deep water. Stuff can kill this boat very easily. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I ain't seeing shit on the shore here. I see a pteranodon up there, that's it. That's it! Damn it! That's it! The relative, yeah, bird's just chilling. I see a tech raptor ahead. Hold on, let's spyglass these guys. Raptor, raptor. Tech raptor level 30. Those all suck. What's back there in the trees, though? Is it, thought, it looked like there was something bigger for a second. There is. What's back there? Oh, there's a brontosaurus back there. Damn it. I wanted it to be like a... Like a big... Like a freaking Rex or something. Something good. Okay, let's uh, park the boat. Let's park the boat. I got a plan. I'm gonna go over here. Where was it? I just saw it. There's a explorer note over here somewhere I just saw. Was it down this way? Right here. So we'll get quadruple XP for a minute because we found Rockwell record number one. I'll go kill these raptors and get some points. And get some shit off this tech raptor. Yeah! Let's just take a quick tour down here to see if it's even worth bringing our boat down here. Is there anything I want to tame? There's a spino. 
What level are you? Level 125 Spino? Should we try getting that? Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping- okay, I thought these were Spinos or Stegos. I think we need to try getting that, right? We gotta try getting something for fuck's sake, right? Alright, let's uh... Are we gonna be able to do this? Let's try. We're gonna have to make a door for the boat first. I don't think Spinos can destroy... Stone. I hope they can't. I hope they can't. That'd be bad if they could. Okay. The problem we're gonna face in doing this, the only problem I can really see, is that we'll be wasting a lot of our Trank arrows doing this, instead of taming a Rex. So if we do go over there and find a Rex, we might not have enough Tranquilizer arrows. But, it's just a sacrifice we're gonna have to make, I say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up along the beach here. Spinos are fucking awesome in the water too. Let's just line this up right about there. Okay. Okay. We'll try to kite this thing over there. We need to make a door first. What do I need to make a door? Maybe I don't need anything. Let me check. Crafting. Reinforced door. I need, uh, 20 stone. Just walk along the beach and pick it up. Got it. Crafting. Stone. Wooden door. Should have made two of them, but we don't need the one in there yet. We just need this one right there. Bam. We're gonna leave that one open for now. In case I need it. Alright, so... Oh, I didn't need that stone. Ride this guy. Bunch of garbage on this motherfucker. Let's drop the wood. Drop that. We got 69 Trank Arrows, that should be enough. I got a Stego Bone Costume from something. Weird. Drop this metal. Keep the flint, I guess. Anything else? Metal. Drop that. Alright, let's go get this guy. Little hand when you're picking things up reminds you of the straw. <laughs> Mikey's going to bed. Alright, good night, Mikey. See ya. Alright, let me do that. Let me get that. Okay, what's the best way to get this guy? Do I... I think we gotta just ag get him to bite me with and, and kite him out this way. It's gonna be tough. It's kind of a far way to travel. Oh, he's already up here on land fighting shit. Okay. Wait, there's two of them? What's this one? That's the 125. What's this one? I did see two Spinos then. Level 10. That one sucks. Well, let's just fight these and get rid of them. Dude. Oh shit, what happened? What the fuck ha Oh, I got, uh... Thagomized? That's something new. I don't know what that is. That's fucked me up. I got a whistle neutral. Oh shit, I just- I got a whistle. Something thagomized me. Whatever the fuck that is. That's something new. Maybe I can't fight, uh... Now I got a whistle passive again. And then whistle, uh, my flyer to land right here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here, asshole. Get over here. Um, I don't know if that's the... Where the fuck are you going? Get over here, you motherfucker. Is it just gonna walk over here? Jesus Christ. 
I don't know what Thago... What did that to me? Was that the Spino? Or the... Stegos? I have no idea. That wasn't in the game when I used to play this. That they could... That those things could dismount you like that. God damn it. Yeah, it was, uh... It was either the tail motion from the... Uh, it was... I think it was probably the Stegos. Because I know they changed a lot of the animals. That thing could have fucked me up a little bit, but... I just... It's just very scary getting dismounted from your bird. That's the one thing I didn't put on my boat yet, is a... a bed, so... If I do die, I could respawn there. But I did want to kill these guys. Let's just assume... Let's just assume it was the Stego. And let's just try to kill this guy now. I think it was the Stego, too. Spinos move so fast in the water, by the way. They're great. They're great tames. Where's he going? Running back to my fucking boat, huh? Almost. Alright, we'll dismount. Grab this little bag and take your Spino sail. Because we do need those to fight fight one of the bosses. Fuck, man. Alright, let's drop the raw meat. It's really just not that much. I just got so much crap on me right now. Ah, oh, man, okay. This is, this is gonna be fucked up. The Arc Wiki says the Stego did it. They, that was, yeah, they added that in the game then in the last year or two. Wait, what level are you? Hold on. Ah, level 70. Shit. Well, this guy's in my way. We gotta kill him first. I gotta clear the path to my boat. Now I gotta go over by this Spino and piss it off and get it to chase me. Let's make sure this is the 125. It's gotta be, right? Yep. Oh yeah, he's fast. Okay. Okay, it lost aggro. He did that and it lost aggro quick. I think it found something else it was interested in. Okay. Just let it keep biting me. I can handle it. I got a good bird. As long as it's not gonna fucking dismount me, I'm not worried about it. Still got 7,900 health. Did it stop again? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You know you want to fight me. straight up this fucking ramp, right? Let's do it. Oh shit, it just walked right over my whole boat! Okay, that was a big fucking fail. I guess, uh, the trap's not big enough for a Spino. God damn it! God damn it! A lot of good that's gonna do me. Fuck! <laughs> I didn't realize those things were that big. Look at it. It, does, it looks pretty obvious now. But, man, I thought that would fit right in there. Son of a bitch. Let's try one more time in case it maybe glitched out.
Oh no, I just walked right the fuck over it, didn't it? Fuck. Trap's a little small! I've built these though before, Paula, they weren't great. Those traps weren't great. Alright, fuck my life. <laughs> fuck that boat. That boat's staying right there. I'm... I'm going back to my island. I'm gonna get some good stuff. I guess we can use that to tame a turtle if we find a good one, right? Fucking stupid boat. I've definitely used those traps to tame Therizinos. And a couple other cool things, so... I don't think the boat's a total fail. Except those turtles are real low level. Damn it, I thought that would fit right in there and be... No, that one definitely wouldn't be good for a Rex. I know that. I wasn't thinking it would be. Is this a Rex over here? What's up in there? A Diplodocus. Fuck you. Fuck that thing. See if there's anything else worth coming up here for. It really isn't looking like. Damn! How the hell am I gonna get that Spino then? I gotta build a different trap, apparently. Oh, damn. We haven't gone in the snow area yet. It's right over here. It'll kill me pretty quick because I don't have any fur. I say YOLO, huh? Nah, I'm not gonna go in the snow area. I don't need anything out there. There's an explorer node on this hill, though, I believe. Let's grab this. And then we're gonna go ahead and, uh... While we got the XP boost, we'll go over there and kill some shit. So let's... Find the box. There's the box. Right over there. We'll get our stam up. We'll hit that box, and then we'll fly over and kill some shit while we're under bonus. Oh, the little dinghy. I think you're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> the Arthroplura dossier. Nice. I just leveled up my character. We're not gonna worry about that until we're done with the 600 second bonus of XP. From the wiki, better to attack from a ledge or a flying mount. Melee attacks are general feudal as a spino has large reach knock that. Oh yeah, well I wasn't gonna attack it. I just needed to get if I could get it trapped in a boat like that, or trapped in any trap, I could then stand pretty far back and just hit it with trank arrows. That's why I built the whole thing with windows, so I could just shoot right through the window and hit it while it would be trapped in the boat. I didn't realize the spino was that big, I thought it would fit. I was wrong. But yeah, I wasn't actually going to fight it or anything, or even hit it even once. Yeah, Spinos are fucking mean. Um... Yeah. Alright, let's kill some shit and get a Rex to spawn over here. Miss that pick move there. Let's just land and kill this guy. That was a little disappointing. Watching that damn spinal walk right over my fucking boat that I just spent like 10 minutes building or 15 minutes or whatever it was. Probably longer than that. Probably too long, wasn't it? Not gonna give up on that boat totally. We'll, we'll go back and recover it and use it for something. Okay, Karno, what level? What level? What level? Come on, I wanna tame something today. Level 20. Fuck you.
Hmm. So it takes a bunch of resources to take. Yeah, that's the whole thing. I got 69 trank arrows. I would have had to look it up to even see if I would if 69 would be enough to knock it out. There's a website. It's kind of like an app, but you can just do it through the web, and it's uh, you can type in what you're trying to tame, and it would be a level 125 Spino, and then it'll tell you exactly how many trank arrows it would take to knock it out. And then I would say that I'm on 10 times taming boost, so it would tell me exactly how many pieces of meat I'd need to feed it and how long it would take, and the website, like, tells you everything. It's easy. But yeah, under official settings, probably, it would take a few hours to tame a Spino at that level. Fuck that. That's why I got it on 10 times boosted. One fifteen. Another Carno. Be a high level forty sucks. We'll land here. That scorpion's still aggro. The birds joining the party too. Okay. And that's the thing, I, it, you say it, and when you mention attack from a flying mount, um, that's really something that, I don't know if you can even do single player. Because usually you'd need somebody to fly something, and then another player to be like a shooter, like standing on like a platform saddle, or... Sometimes you can use like a grappling hook and grapple to the bird, and then the other person flies and you just hang from a grappling hook and so there's ways to do it under multiplayer but single player is a whole other story it's like that's why I said there's some animals in this game that I don't even think you can tame site doesn't say how many arrows it just says you can force feed it a hundred narc oh really that's weird yeah I don't know Maybe that lowers its food, like it takes its food value down, because that's how you tame things up. When, they, when they're knocked out, their food meter drains, and then if you put the right food they want to eat in their inventory, they'll eat pieces of food as their food drains, and it uh, usually takes a while for the food to drain, and that's why it takes so long to tame things, because you just got to wait for it. Okay. Yep, no Rexes or anything on this island. Like we thought. We'll get one to spawn. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We have to. It's required. Would like to play multiplayer again, yeah. Well Mr. Crafts, that's the thing. Like on the, when if you have a single player game, like right now. If you were on, if you're on PS4, if you turn on your PS4, I could invite you right into this game. You could invite your friends into a single player. I know that. Um, but it only works when I'm on playing. It's not like you could play any time on this, unless I. But it, but it's like Minecraft as well. You can pay to buy a realm, and then you can get you could then people could get on all the at any time. Only people like that you give a password to or something. A little close to the water, brah. That's a high level fucking 130, damn it. I just knew it was high level, it was fighting hard. Get out of here, you fucking birds. All you fucking birds blocking the damn spawn points for my Rexes. Fuck y'all. Drop some of this shit that's making me fat. Like all that right there. What's my taming speed? Food drain is the set to just regular whatever the default is. 
but my taming multiplier is ten times. Carno, level ten. And a level seventy, I think it said. Whatever it was, it wasn't super high. Ah, uh, there's a third one in the mix. I think there's three Carnos here. No, maybe not. Fucking Argies are annoying as hell. So the website I go to, JW, if you're interested in looking at it, it's uh, Dodo Dex. D-O-D-O-D-E-X. And right on the thing, you just go right to uh, something that you'd go to Spino. And then you'd type in level 125 in the, in the thing. 10 times multiplier. And uh, it'd give you all the information you'd ever need about it. It's crazy. Works pretty good. Oh, that's what you're on? This bird's a fighter! What the hell? It was only a level 80? Felt like a level 800 the way it was last time. Fucker. Another Carno that just spawned over there. Level 20. Fuck off. We want to go over there and kill it right now. I want to go over here and see something better. I want something better. I don't know what's going on. There's just nothing spawning like on this half of the island, it seems like. And I know I didn't build that trap too close. I'm not blocking any spawns. I know that. Trink darts with a crossbow. Uh, I don't know what a toxicant arrow is. No, it's just tranquilizer arrow. I think it's trank arrows. Let me look at what it's called, really. Uh, trank arrows with a crossbow. With a primitive crossbow. I know, like, the high-level Rexes take, oh, like, about 100. I think it said 98 when I looked it up. Let's kill this scorpion and get this drop, eh? I'm half tempted just to go on a damn website, look up the console, or the, the, what is it, the command, what do they call it? Uh, I think it's like a console command they call it, or whatever it is, or admin command maybe? Where I can just hit a few buttons, type in like some fucking code, and it'll spawn in a level 150 Rex for me. I do not, I don't even want this fucking stuff. Stored in a hatch frame blueprint. Yeah, I'm about ready just to spawn in a level 150 Rex. Fucking just so I can untame it. But that might be cheating. Um, you know. 33? 46 shots from a crossbow, huh? Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to compute that either. I don't know. Scorpion, level 135, that's why. Fuck. Fuck, gee. Alright, let's go kill this low level Carno over here. This game is being toxic to me. It's 
not giving me a good Rex. And then that damn Spina wouldn't fit in my boat. I mean, what? just won't let me win. Trank darts, rifle, arrows, crossbow. Whoa, I don't know what that is either. Yeah, well, there's different... See, there's different modes of arc. There's, like, primitive arc. There's a couple different, like, games within, like, different game modes. But on regular arc that I'm playing, there's only trank arrows, um, trank, laser, tr trank darts that you have to shoot out of a long neck rifle, and then there's shocking trank darts. I think that's all there is. There's some other stuff th that's in different game modes, though, that I wouldn't even be able to make in here. And I think that that Dodo Duck site puts all of it in there because it doesn't know what game mode you're playing or... <laughs> Dude, this is really pissing me off that I... Have I even gotten one Rex to spawn in today? I don't even think I got one to spawn. What the fuck is going on? I'm about ready just to do a kill all dinos admin command. I, I'll have to look up how to do that. Where it kills every dino on the entire map. So all new stuff starts spawning. Let's just kill all these birds. It's gonna be a clusterfuck. Let's just do it. Really, it doesn't show it? That's weird. Yeah, I'd have to look at it, because I don't really know what to tell you to look at, or... I know one of these RGs is high level, I just saw it go by to add three digits in it. I'm pretty sure it did, yeah. Level 55, what's the last guy? Oh, maybe not. I think it's just level 60. Can't even read the fucking levels. Okay, options, gamma up. Does say it cannot damage stone. Okay. So <laughs> So that Spino shouldn't have damaged my boat at all. <laughs> that is what you're saying. That's good. Yeah, most dinos don't damage stone. There's only a couple that do. Or a few that do. There's a Carno that spawned. What are you? Level 50. Fuck. Fuck. It's fucking bullshit, man. This game sucks. I let me spawn anything. Level 20. Where the other cat just went? I just saw one. There's one right there. Level 45. Two more out there. 60 and 40. Man, if I needed to get a saber tooth, I'm doing a good job spawning them. The fuck. It'll only fit. So, so even yeah, it wouldn't even fit through that little gateway. That I put at the back of the- I would have had to destroy half my boat to get it out of there. <laughs> Level 95. Kitty. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Gotta land for stamina anyway. Guess we'll level up our character. Let's put a level into. Wait. Level 89. Bird. Level up 
I'm not even gonna harvest that body. Let's let it rot. We're gonna let that bird rot. Come on, never give up, never give in. We're getting us. Let's go down here and get this drop. Fill up our water. Let's eat a steak or two. There you go. Crazy blueprints and get so I I turned down the how much it's boosted too. It's crazy. Apparently didn't turn it down enough. Alright. Finally after four hours of Minecraft you're gonna sign off K3. What you get what what were you doing on there, Banks? Do anything good? Just doing some mining or were you doing some building or do another dozen raids. What you doing, man? What you doing on there? There's a saber teeth down there. Level five, you suck. There's a Carno getting killed over here. Level 50. He sucks. There's a Saber Teeth. Level 40. He suck. None of which I need any of this stuff. Leave these guys block the spawns for the Rexes, so might as well kill them. You're expanding your house underground house. Oh, like your flex room and all that down there. That's cool. I'll have to check that out. Understand why it shouldn't spawn him. Just gotta make sure I'm killing everything. Kitties. An ancient debris room? Heck yeah. It would be cool to have a wall of ancient debris. I mean, it would look a lot cooler than netherite blocks. I mean, even though netherite blocks are way more expensive. Netherite blocks just look really boring, you know, don't they? Wouldn't it look cool if netherite blocks, like, glowed purple just like our armor did or something? That would be so much better, like, if it was, like, enchanted netherite. Or it had that look. But yeah, Alfred put a couple netherite blocks above our door in K1, and they look alright, but... Armor through the ages showcase, really? What do you got, leather gear and chainmail and all the different types? I'm sure you got some gold armor. <laughs>
Okay, I kill every fucking thing on that island. Let's go over here. Just anything I see, I gotta kill. I need to get these spawns going. If I see it, it dies. Dude, it's like not even like spawning very many Carnos or anything. It's just... It's fucking broken. We broke the game, peeps. Mr. Crash, member of the Kittle Dogs! Awesome. I didn't think I killed that bird that quick, but I guess I did. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every type of or Just missing one piece of chainmail? Oh, nice. Oh, so you got netherite that's not enchanted? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I don't know. Everybody likes their purple armor, though. Everybody seems to, at least. Dude, this is fucking dead island, bruh. There's like one RG flying up there. There's one down there, and... Oh, I finally a raptor spawned over here, as you see. Okay. Let's go kill these raptors. Let's spyglass them first, how about it, right? A high level is a 95. We don't care. That was entirely too easy. Electrified suit of armor powered by red stuff. Ah, dude. And then anytime it's a lightning storm, it just goes berserk because there's too much li uh, electricity in the air. And it just starts like. Yeah. Oh, you gonna come in and fight me now? Come on. be kind of fun. Thought if they added some more stuff like that. Oh my god, a Rex over there. Come on, baby. 15, you bullshit piece. Fucking game. Bullshit game. <laughs> yeah, do something fun in the lightning store. Yeah. I need to get stamina before I go get that Rex. Yo, I got full enchanted diamond rarest armor in Sky Wars. What does that mean? Like you were able to buy it in the with the item shop, or were you able to? Do you did you mine that up, or I forgot how it works. Hey, finally we see a Rex, but you know what? You spent all that time growling. I've already got you bloody by the time you're done growling. That's how that works. Biatch!
He gone. He's a goner. All right. We finally broke our streak of no Rexes spawning. What are you? Did I already look at you? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right under me. Level 35. Did that just spawn? That's weird. Now we're going to get like a whole bunch of Rexes in a row. I feel it. Catch you later, Crafts. Check you later. under chest got the boots hat oh wow. well sounds like that's a nice advantage did you end up winning that round then hopefully you did sound like you had a pretty big head start there with all that or leg up on the competition you might say get it leg leggings legging half leg half up leg up Okay. No Carnos, no Rexes, no Raptors, no nothing. Bunch of saber teeth over there. Let's see what they're doing over there. Bunch of low levels getting killed. I just turned the gamma down, didn't I? Look at this. I can hardly even see. Toxic rock. Okay, a little raptor spawned over there. Okay, that's it. Not enough to worry about yet. We'll get that purple drop in just a second. We're trying to stream snipe Techno Blade. He shows the server and everyone's there. Oh, really? That was Java, huh? Okay. That yeah, might be kind of fun just to try to stream snipe something like that. I was watching a little earlier before my coin club meeting. And I saw Noah official. Hi, Noah, if you're lurking. Uh, oh, I, oh, I wasn't paying attention to my stamina. Dude, I just dropped out of the sky. Good thing I landed in a safe spot. Gotta be careful about that. Um, I saw Noah was playing Fall Guys Customs. He had like 44 people at his custom banks. And they were doing glitches on Roll-Off. They were doing glitches on Fall Ball and Hex. and They were kicking some butt. I really should have put all this stuff in the box already, but let's just drop some more stuff. Some raw meat. Boom. Boom. Let's get rid of stuff that weighs. We don't need the berries. We don't need cloth gear. We don't need a slingshot or spears or a hatchet. Clown Pierce is better because he's in the top 20 in PvP. What, what's with these people's names? Clown Pierce? That sounds fucking weird. I don't know, whatever. Anyway. A blueprint for a grenade? I don't know how to make grenades. I don't need that. Show me a 
a T-Rex. Man, it's just not spawning. Dude, we had so many of them spawning that first day when we were doing this. And even yesterday when we were doing this, so many of them spawning. We are just having some shit luck right now. Unless, like... I mean, sometimes in Ark, if there's too many dinos on the entire map, like, it doesn't spawn things correctly. Like, all on the whole map everywhere. And we might... It's possible we're running into that, because they just had that Halloween event, and there's still Halloween animals around that won't die until somebody kills them. And I'm not killing them, so, I mean, I, I mean, I could, but I haven't. That was a tech raptor, nice. It might be worth doing a kill all dinos command and letting everything start respawning from default. I'd have to look up how to do that, though. I've done it before on a single player. And it... And most players say that's not really cheating. Of course, if you're the one that's cheating, you can define what's cheating and what's not, you know, if you're the one doing it. But, um, even on official servers, every now and then you gotta get rid of all the dinos on the map because things start acting funny, and... So even, they, they do that even on official servers, so... Just because the game gets glitchy if there's too many dinosaurs and it will block others from spawning. Even if the spawn points... Like, there's been nothing on this side of the island. We've cleared everything. Things should be spawning. Slash kill? Is, it, is that really what it is? I know, I'd have to learn how to even input. And I, I'm, po I'm almost positive that it only kills the wild dinos, it doesn't kill any of my tame dinos. I'm pretty sure about that. Maybe we'll try that. Maybe we'll try that. No, I think it's, you type in something like kill all dinos, or maybe it is just slash kill, I don't know. Oh, you say no idea? Okay. <laughs> It's weird, though, because I'm getting, like, some stuff to spawn over here. Just not Rexes, and not Carnos. There should be tons of them on this island. Alright, I'm gonna go back over to my trap, and I'm gonna look up real quick how to do that, and we're gonna test it. Fuck it, right? Because this, this is getting ridiculous. Three days in a row we've been trying to find this shit. And right now I can't even get anything to spawn, not even low- I got one Rex in a couple hours. That's the, that's just not right. It's not right. So we're gonna get over here where we're safe. I wanna get into a position where I can at least see some wild dinos. Just to make sure the command works. So let's get over here. Coming for a landing. There's an RG over there on the beach. Let me just look this up real quick. Uh, park, single player. Kill all wild dinos. Destroy. All wild dinos, I don't want to watch a whole fucking thing about it. Let's see. I should type in PS4 so it shows up PS4, right? PS4. Enter. What's the command to kill all wild dinos in PS4? And then it shows me a fucking video. Now, how do you wipe all dinos in... Um, let's see. How do I enter? Okay, so I need to type in admin cheat destroy wild dinos, I believe. I'm going to go to another website and see to make sure that's correct. 
<laughs> I don't want to just rely on one person saying that and have it do something different. Let's see. Kill, destroy, yeah. Destroy wild dinos, okay. It'll remove all untamed dinos so they respawn. Destroy wild dinos, okay. So now I need to know how to do an admin command. Okay. Sorry about this. It'll be worth it. I hope. And I want to get rid of all these, uh... I want to get rid of all the damn, uh... Halloween stuff, too. Console commands, arc, ad... How do you do this? God damn it. Trying to find something that tells me without watching a video. R L1, R1, square, triangle? Does this work? Wait. Maybe I gotta do it from this. Okay, there we go. Admin command. So... What was I gonna type? Admin cheat? Was that what it was? Gotta spell it right, huh? Destroy wild dinos. Let's see if that works. Did that work? Do I gotta hit enter? Done? Admin command? I don't know, resume? Well, yeah, that fucking RG disappeared over there. Oh, oh, God, I thought mine was gone for a second. Mine's here. Let's just go over there and see if there's anything. I think that worked. Yeah, I don't see any RGs or anything flying around. Okay, that had to have worked. All right, good. So now we just got to give it a minute. Let's go empty out my bird into the chest over here. Fill up with my water, and then, uh, we'll go check and see what's respawned. Destroy all... destroy wild... yeah, I think... Alright, yeah, incoming raid, Monkey King, what? Who's raiding me? Nobody's... nobody's raiding me, I don't believe you guys. I don't believe it. Fake news. Fake news. I gotta be careful with that whole admin console command thing, because JW, it's really, really tempting just to, like, spawn in using the commands of fucking Rex right now, because this is getting frustrating, but I don't want to do that. Believe me, I'm not above doing it, I guess, at some point, but I don't really don't want to. The kite and keratin with a few tinto berries. What else do I got in here that I don't need to be haul hauling around that cut has weight? 12 pound RG egg, I don't need that. 20 pounds, 25 pounds of oil. Spear slingshot, don't need to be here. Let's take a hundred more of these arrows, 200 more of these arrows out of here. Take this sword, take this arm, this big ass saddle. Let's put all this shit in here. We'll take this back with us when we go back home. Alright, there we go. Now we're lean, mean, fighting machine. Let's go see if anything's been spawning over there. Clean slate. Let's do some killing. Incoming raid. Was it a raid of one? It's a raid of two. Now Shannon Smith is here. A raid of two. Look, I already see right, right over here, nothing was spawning. There's already a couple raptors on this hill. That's a good sign. I already see raptors. Okay. Is that an alpha raptor? Holy shit. I think it is. Yeah, that's an alpha raptor. Let's kill that motherfucker right now. Wow. 
Well, where's the alpha? Is one of those an alpha? No. I thought that was an alpha. I swear I just looked down and saw an alpha raptor. What the fuck? Am I seeing the shit? Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't. I, th I swear I saw an alpha raptor. Yeah. Of course, there's lots of RGs spawning. Chance says, it's mostly me. Silver Squad Raid? Cool. Hey, Atog, how you doing? Greg, what's up? Thanks, guys, for coming in here. Silver Stacker Squad Raid, what up? Thanks, guys. We're just playing some Ark Survival Evolved on the PS4. It's a game where you start out naked on a beach, and then you got to build up and tame dinosaurs and stuff and use them. Those are a couple level 50s. I don't want either of those. Some scorpions and some saber tooths down there. Let's fill my water skin. There's a T-Rex over here. What level are you? Level 15 fighting some shit? Let's get in the middle of this fight. We're on an eagle right now that's pretty badass. Oh, it's fighting four Carnos? I really should see what levels these are. Let's just look. 50, 35, and 20. Oh, they're all coming after me! Oh, there's four of them. Opus Singer, how you doing? Katie, how you doing? Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys coming over here. We're just playing some Ark Survival. I'm kicking some ass. Fighting Carnos. These guys are tough. There we go. One left. And what we're what our goal is is we're trying to find we're trying to kill all the stuff on this little island that we're on. Trying to get other stuff to spawn in its place. Mostly a high level Tyrannosaurus Rex. MSS raid. What's up? So what was going on on Silver Stacker? Or Silver Squad, I'm sorry. What was going on on Silver Squads? Uh, did you guys like find silver? Or were you hunting silver? Or were you just... Looking at silver? Were you just talking about silver? Dreaming of silver? What were you guys doing over there? Tell the audience here what goes on and why they should even consider checking out the Silver Squad channel. in the future. What's going on over there? What do you what, what the hell were you guys doing over there? That's what we want to know. Ooh, all of that stuff. What are you like spinning wheels and doing scratchers and fucking doing like horse races on the computer and fucking all that kind of bullshit? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I just didn't play an arc. All right, how far till this drops down? Let's see, I can't see, my bird's head's in the way. That's way up there, okay. I'm not gonna wait for that then. <laughs> you hunt for silver in halves and quarters. A anything good? And if anything, find anything good? And auctions too? Cool. Well, good damn deal. I'm sure you guys, uh, you know, it's, it's always like a mixed kind of reaction. It's like, you know, with silver being up a couple bucks in like the last week or so, it's like... Part of me says, yeah, finally, it's made some movement, but it's like, you know what? The other half of me just wishes silver would like go down a ton so I could buy a ton of it and then have it go up, you know, like... So it's kind of mixed. I think those are just a couple level 50 or so. What? Says LNW? What? Point roll hunting, silver proof, there's four, and fun races for silver, lots of giveaways. Well, cool. Well, there's another one for you guys to check out if you're looking for more, uh, more of all that. More of all that. I appreciate you guys coming over and for sending some folks over. That's awesome. You can do that. 
the level 125 RG that we're fighting that's flying around us. We'll chew through him in just a minute. We gotta clear the skies, some more sub spawns. Come on. Go down already, there you go. Let's see if there's anything around the corner here. There's a raptor. Or there's one raptor, there's usually more. Yep, here comes more. Oh, a tech raptor too, nice. I should check the levels of those every time. That was only a level 36 though. That's fine. Scorpion fucking my shit up. Smash that like button, says Monkey Can. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. We're gonna go ahead, collecting all this garbage off these people. We're gonna drop the scrap metal we just ate off that robot dino. Drop a few more things. And then drop all of the raw... No, I don't want to just do RA, because that drops my trank arrows. I want to do RAW. And drop all that. Sweet. Yeah, I was watching a little bit of Rob Finds Treasure earlier. We, I, I had my own stream on my coin channel. Exclamation point coin, if you're not followed by coin channel already. Exclamation point coin G-A-W, if you're not in my monthly free coin giveaway. Every month we give away free coins. There's always a giveaway on my coin channel, in case you guys didn't know that. Uh, this month we're giving away a 2006 Silver Eagle 20th Anniversary set, certified. The whole set. One person wins it. It's worth about 250 to 300 bucks. I'm sure somebody wants that, right? Hopefully you guys are all in it to win it. If you're not, all you gotta do is leave a comment. No tricks or anything. You don't have to leave any fucking keywords or do something special, you know. Every now and then in my monthly giveaways, I'll add, like, oh, do a keyword. But that's only to win, like, something extra above the main prize or something. But this month, all you gotta do is go over there, leave a comment. That's it. You don't even have to watch the video. I don't give a shit. But I'd, I'd prefer if you liked and made sure you're subscribed. Because if you do win, you're gonna wanna subscribe. You're gonna wanna know that you won. Fucking level 20. A bunch of low level bullshit keeps spawning over here. But at least it's spawning now. We did that kill all dinos. Now we're getting stuff to spawn. Yeah, don't, don't do that to me, T-Rex. Get over here. Get over here. You ain't hurting me. Actually, it is packing a little bit of a punch. But I leveled this bird up so much it can handle it. Look at that. Chews right through it. Right through it. Yeah, every month. And if you're just figuring it out right now, Miss Big Silver Scapper, Miss, or sorry, Mrs. Mrs. Big Silver Stacker, then you blew it. You fucked up already. You fucked up because this is month 11 of me doing the monthly free coin giveaway. Go back and check out all the other cool shit we giving away. Every single month, big prizes, all just one winner all the time. But you know what? Better late than never. Better late than never. You know about it now. You get in it every month. We give away something worth at least 100, 150 bucks. This month we just went a little overboard. And the prize, it's worth, I don't know, 250 to 300 retail. And, uh, it's easy. It's easy. And what I do is I got channel memberships on my coin channel. I use the, um, some of the money I get from that. And we get some people to donate a little bit too. Uh, I use the money from the channel memberships mostly to pay for giveaway prizes and just Instead of doing a bunch of little bullshit giveaways here and there. I just uh, save up all that for the month and we do one big prize really and it's fun But but you got to make sure you're subscribed because what I do is every month I'll do a comment video for the next month and I'll do the giveaway selection for the prior month and if you're not subscribed and you're not paying attention I've had people win and then not claim their prize. So, so far we've given away 10 monthly giveaways. Two of them weren't claimed, which, you know, sucks for those people. But the other eight were claimed. Pretty good, pretty good rate, I guess. Pretty good. There's always a giveaway going on. Always. 
JW's going to bed. Alrighty. Thanks, JW. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. I'm not going to play this too much longer, I don't think. Although I always say that and then I end up playing like another four hours, but we'll see. But yeah, we're getting stuff to spawn over on this part of the island now. Nothing at all was spawning over here. There's three Carnos that spawned over here now. That's awesome. A level 140. Okay, we're going to tame this. We're taming that one. Uh, what's this one? Level 15. Fuck that one. And then this one. A level 135 male. And a level 140 male. Oh, shit. There's two good ones. Okay. We got to figure out how to get them separated. Let's just try to get this one kited away. Without dragging the others. Now nope, we're dragging two of them. Are they both the high levels? No, one's a low level. Okay. So now that we got that one separated, let's go in and bite this one a few times. It's the lighter one that sucks. So let that one, the good one, bite me. Fuck that one. And we'll kill off the weak one. You know, let's just kite them both into the trap and then deal with them once they're in the trap, right? Is that the way to do it? I don't know. Okay, they separated. Let's go get... Let's kill the light one. Okay, we got a few bites in on it. Let's get them both following me again. I gotta watch my stamina for sure. over here to land, get some rest. Nope, not gonna get any rest. Let's just take them over to the trap. Let's just take them over to the trap. Let's see if they come. They coming? Oh yeah, they're both coming. Let's see if this trap works. I haven't used this yet. That one's coming. Let's get the one then. Oh, fuck you, buddy, huh? You're the low level, aren't you? Level 15? Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch... Oh, crap! The other one's right here, too! Oh, crap! Wait, where's my bird? Oh, the other one's here. I didn't realize it came across. It's in the other trap. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Yo, let's just eat this one the bird. Let's not get cute. Let's not get cute about it. Let's just go in here and eat this one. Oh, yeah, the purple thing's a loot drop. So, long story short, I'm not going to tell you all the secrets of Ark in case you get into it, but basically, there's something up above us in the sky... There's an overseer overseeing this whole thing. Like, we're in a big experiment, basically. Long story short, somewhat. And uh, they're sending loot drops down to uh, me and the other people that are, you know, trying to survive in this world. They're sending care packages down to us. This guy's aggroed onto something. Let him bite me. Let him bite me. Let him bite me. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over here and kite him right into the fucking trap. He, he trapped. Now, we get out our handy dandy trank gun, trank arrow. I made the trap too big, he can move around too much. Now we're gonna knock this fucker out and tame him. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I made it too big. I should have made it a little narrower so they can't move around too much. But... Yeah, if I would have made it narrower, I would have just been able to stand here and just keep shooting without him moving. Yeah, see, I'm going to miss a lot of arrows. Unless I stand in the corner, maybe? Missed.
So in those care packages they drop down there could just be supplies, like extra materials or narcotics that I can use to help knock, knock out animals, or it could be blueprints to make good saddles for animals, or to make better weapons. Yeah, this is tough. This is a tough trap I built. I'm just trying to knock this thing out. So if you knock it out, and then feed it food, uh, you can make them your own dinosaur. You tame them, and then you can ride them and use them. But this is a level 140. 150 is the highest level wild dino you can find. The higher the level, the more arrows it takes to knock out, the harder it is to tame. There it goes, it knocked out. There it goes, it's out. There we go, wild male carno, level 140. And uh, there's its base stats. And uh, now it's gonna start draining its food. I need to go get some prime meat, because that's its favorite food. Well, one of its favorite foods, prime meat. I do got some prime meat here, so let's grab three pieces of it. I don't know how many it's going to take, but let's just put three pieces on it for right now. It expires so quick, though, the prime. So what happens is there's a food meter right now while it's sleeping and knocked out. There's several things to watch. Now, I got the settings turned up on this to where it tames faster than an official server. On an official server, base stats, it would take like two hours to tame this thing up, real time at least. Um, you see down at the very bottom of these stats, torpidity. That's me that I knocked it out. The torpidity meter slowly draining down. If it goes all the way down to zero, this fucker wakes back up and starts killing me. There's also the food meter. You see that in the middle there. It's... 5400 full and now it's draining down because it's knocked out it's getting hungrier once it gets down to like 5350 i think right now it's at 5370 it'll eat one of those pieces of prime meat and because i'm feeding it while it's knocked out that taming bar under the unconscious bar that we're looking at right now will start going up and if it eats enough food while it's knocked out it becomes my dino it's kind of complicated but and then I can put a saddle on this guy and ride him around and kill shit. That's the that's the goal. But we got him knocked out. I could look up exactly the time and exactly how many pieces of meat I gotta give it for it to tame. But I'm guessing it's gonna be about 15 minutes tops. But it should eat its first piece soon, but with prime meat it'll go faster. So there it is, 53.52. It should, one of these pieces of meat should disappear in a second. 53.50. There it goes, it ate a piece of prime meat. Now the food is back up to full. And now when we look at this, it's 37.5% tamed. So it will need three full pieces of meat. Um, this lasts for eight minutes in its inventory. Should be good. Should be good, but I'm going to go drop all the other meat that I have right now and go get some extra prime meat just in case I need it. Well, Monkey King, we don't want to celebrate just yet. I'm not riding that fucker yet. I don't have it safe at home. But on that island across from this island, it's usually pretty safe. Um, I'm not worried about any of these animals going over and attacking it. Normally, though, when you knock stuff out, you got to build, like, spiked walls around it so other things don't attack it. Is there another Rex spawning over here? Man, we should have done that kill wild dino command so much earlier so things spawn normally. There's a Carno. There's a bunch of... None of it's high level. None of it's high level stuff. Let's go kill all this. Those Carnos are going to end up killing the Rex. That's a cool looking Rex too. I wish I wish it was a high level. Alright, we just got some prime meat from killing that T-Rex. We'll kill these birds.
I guess I didn't kill that. Okay. Another bird wanted to eat that meat and I didn't let it, so I was pissed. Too bad. Too bad. Now you're dead. Let's head on back. We got what we were looking for. Some fresh meat. Take back to our knocked out animal. That little trap worked okay. I mean, it's a little too wide, I think. I should have just built, like, a narrower one. But I wanted it to work for multiple things, and I don't know what I was going to tame. Was he breaking this wood? No, he wasn't even damaging the wood. Okay, it's at 75%. Let's just go ahead and put a couple fresh pieces of prime in there. God, we get so much prime meat. I gotta actually go in here and access from here, don't I? Because he's in the trap, he's just glitched through it. Okay, that's gonna be fine. Needs to drain 25 more food, eat one more piece, and then this fucker's mine. So let's go over here. I believe I got a saddle waiting for it in this box. Is it this box? It's this box. Primitive Carno saddle. We'll grab that up. Let's take a drink of water and fill my water skin. Okay. Should we waking up any second? Yep, got seven more food to drain and it's done. It's kind of an ugly looking, you know, not really that cool. Looks pretty boring. You know what? The only thing I didn't really think of is how am I going to get this out of the trap now, right? How do I get it back out of the trap? Hmm. I guess I gotta destroy part of it to get it out. That's not a big deal. It's easy to repair. There we go. I could name it. I don't have a name for it yet. Get over here. Uh, put a saddle on it. Whistle passive. Whistle, stop following me. Get on it. Heck yeah. Nice. Options. Gamma correction up. Save and exit. Boom. Let's just go ahead and let's demolish from the top so I get the materials. We're going to go park him over here. Let him level up over time. You know what? Let's put some meat on him. Do I got meat on me? No, I don't. Because there's no feeding trough over here. Should repair that trap just in case we need it in a little bit. We might be ending the stream here pretty soon anyway, though. Maybe. I don't know what we're gonna do. Do I ever know what we're doing in here? I got any more of those window frames in here? I don't, but I got stone and I got wood. I already got thatch on me. Let's make two more door frames, I mean. That's it. that shit back. Put a foundation in there that I don't need. Easy to repair. I'll just leave that. Actually, we said we were going to put some meat on them. 
plenty for him to live a long time like that. It's already got a level we can put in it. We're just going to leave it. Let's look at the stats, though. 3,100 health, 960 stamina, 480 weight, and 308 melee damage. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Okay. Not sure what we'll level. I think we're going to level up health a bunch on it. Maybe wait a little bit, because I want to be able to use that in caves to fight things. Plus one more. We'll go one more. Now that we've got things spawning, we'll definitely look around to see if we can find another find another good Carno or another Rex. Now that we got a male Carno, though, our preference is to find a high-level female Carno if we find anything. Let's go ahead and land here. I think we're safe. Let's grab this. Grab those gauntlets and that Sarko Saddle Blueprint. Get the fuck out of there. Head down here where there's stuff spawning again. Thank you. What level Carno is that? Come on. It's level 80. Not horrible. Not what we want though. Took care of those guys pretty freaking quick. They were already pretty bloody though. They were already pretty fudged up. Another Cardo there. Man, we should have done this hours ago. This is like we were wasting so much time, weren't we? Damn. I knew the game was acting a little weird, and I'm sure it was the ending of that Halloween event that triggered a lot of the glitchiness there. Level 20. Another one up here, I think that's what that is. Level 10. A bunch of shit levels, okay. There's a whole pile of animals here that we're gonna kill. Come on, boys. Let's put some more health into it. 9,100 hit points on it now. Damn, Daniel. Yellow drop coming in over there. We will absolutely be going for that. There's one thing that we missed there. around that corner what we got there? Nope, sure couldn't. I think those are a couple low level. Stuck on that rock. <laughs> Come on, birds. Time to go down. There we go. Damn, that thing ate. Got a health boost. Look at all 
these boots and crap I got. All this cloth gear, garbage. Uh, what else do I want to throw? Probably a bunch of seven spears, that's heavy. All these different hatchets and picks and crap. All this raw meat. Boom, boom. There we go. Yellow drop should be down by now, it is. Let's quickly get this. Blueprint for some boots. I missed the pick on that one, damn it. Don't need it. There's a car now. Level 20. Might need to bail on this island soon. Start heading back home. We do need to stop at our sap taps, though, and see if they've been producing for us. And then... What are you, what are you down there? Level 135 male? Uh, we really don't need that. We already got a level 140 male. Uh, wait, this is the other one that we saw that we just never killed before, I think. Let's kill this guy. We want a high-level female if we can find one. Yeah, if you can get a little bit of high ground on these guys and just keep hitting hard, like, your knockback keeps them from even biting you. There you go. He, he only bit me, like, twice. Kill this shit real quick. It's a hundred sixteen degrees Fahrenheit on this island. Losing water and health pretty quick. I gotta watch that kind of out of the corner of my... Two Rexes just spawned. Are you kidding? Level 15? Level 5. You fuckers. You fuckers. Just still low level. Is this another one? No, it's just a level 20 Carno stuck in a tree. Okay. Well, let's land here and kill the Carno. At least kill the tree and set it free. There we go. That was nice of us. That was nice of us to do that. Tough. Is that? I better be right. That better be like a level 15 or something. What was it? It's acting a lot stronger than yeah, level 15. Damn. Let's stam up. While we're waiting for the stam up, let's just go ahead and drop some meat. What the hell? Let's drop. Another 20-some pounds of stuff there. Way too bright. Let's 
still bright because we're looking right into the sun, I believe. It's okay. I'll fly out this way and, and turn back. See what we see. Still losing health, be health because it's so hot. Let's land here and kill a bunch of stuff. I didn't check the level of that car now. Let's just check it. Can we keep around the corner? No, we can't. Okay. I guess we'll just have to be okay with it if we kill a high level. Hope not. We'll know in a second. <laughs> now it's low level. Ten. Yeah, it died quick. Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Okay. <laughs> so what do we have planned for tomorrow and I guess son it's the weekend can you guys believe that it's the freaking weekend baby got to have me some fun bounce, 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 bounce. um yeah I mean what do we got planned um, I don't know. I know that I need to get some shit done and go to the post office tomorrow and do some mailing. I need to do the invoices from the coin club auction. That's something that I need to handle. I need to... I need to do a couple YouTube videos for sure. On the coin channel. I got a couple things that I gotta get done soon. I mean, I don't got to, but I'd like to, let's just say. I gotta mail out a bunch of A and A applications before it gets too crazy and before that really good deal expires that we got. Got some stuff. Got some stuff to work on. Level 20 over there. Orda! <laughs> And with that, I probably woke up three of the people that were sleeping already. Sorry about that, guys. But Orda came in, and he puts the double exclamation. You can't read that quietly, can you? No, you can't. It's impossible. basically starting to get this island to spawn like it's supposed to. I want to just keep playing it now that it's working. What are you down there? What are you down there? Level 10 Karno? Fuck off. Fucking bird's gonna kill you before I even get to you, isn't it? Killed all that shit easy. Oh, another Carno coming to play? Where are you from? Two up to Orda. Still working? Is Orda working right now, probably? We don't need two mind walk <laughs> wipe tonic recipes. We don't need nine spears. Hatchet pick, pick, pick. Boom. Orda! Orda says, Hi, Rob! Mrs. Big Silver Stacker's laughing. Orda's always yelling. Exactly. You're awake and watching. Scared the hell out of you. Throw your beast on that crow ray. Yeah, well, it's... They used to look like eagles. Now they look a little weird. They changed the way they look in the game about two years ago, maybe, or two and a half. They used to really look like eagles. They were cool. I mean, they're still cool. They're still pretty damn OP, and... Well, if you can level up... Like, this one 
this one's only kicking ass because I tamed the really high level one, and then I leveled it up with tons of extra health. So I can fight fucking whatever, and I don't care if it bites me because it ain't gonna kill me. Unless I screw up. Unless I do something really stupid, but... Which I... It's possible. And what's great about these birds is right here, you'll see, as soon as I eat a dead body, I at the very top I get a buff called Rapid Regeneration. So when it eats dead bodies, uh, it regains health a lot quicker than other things do. Well, what are you? What are you? Level 20? What are you? A level 20. A couple bullshit level 20s. But there's three of them here. I only looked at two of them. Well, too late. We're fighting now. Hope I didn't miss a good one. I think they're all males anyway, because they're not they're not mate boosted. Oh, no, I guess that's the one I missed. Dead ahead. Can't look through my bird's neck. Where are you at? Level 50 and a level 65. Why don't you come play? Why don't you guys want to play? Get your day off sipping beer. Nice. They gone. Let's see if I can do a pick maneuver. Got him. He gone. Let's see if I can do it again. Missed. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Another couple Carnos over here, huh? Anything good? Come on, get out of the fucking trees so I can see ya. Level 40. They're mate boosted, because I saw the heart above it. Level 40, a level 125 female. Not bad. Not bad. We might think about that one. I do need a high level female. 125 and a level 35. Uh, is 125 good enough for us, though? I usually only do 135 or higher. I don't really want it. I don't want it. You're unwanted, Carno. You're unwanted. Let's aggro them all, fly by and aggro, piss them off, turn right back into them, start fighting. So Orda, yeah, you like the swoop kill? What's really, 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 really fun to do is when you're on official PvP servers, right? Like right now, this is just a single player game. I'm the only one on here. I don't have to worry about another player shooting my face off. Whoa, that raptor came out of nowhere and scared the shit out of me. Fuckers. Um, what's really fun is when you're on PvP, right? And you have a good bird like this or you have even have something different. And you see, like, somebody brand new. Because you know the people that are brand new. Because their armor, they're not wearing, like, full flak and stuff like this, right? They're wearing cloth bandages and shit. And they're, like, using stone tools, like, building, like, that thatch shacks on the beach, right? So you know the new players from a mile away. Or they got, like, a parasaur next to them and, you know, and, like, some dodo birds that they tamed up. So what you do is you're just flying along... And you see that shit, and you go right down and scoop them right up, and you grab them, and you take them straight up in the air. You take them straight up in the air, and then you hit the button again and drop them, and then they just fall to their death. That's really fun. It's so fun. Or you just drop them out in the middle of the ocean, and then they have to swim home if you feel, if you don't want to totally kill them. You just take them out pretty far in the ocean, and then it's... But usually they end up dying anyway, because there's a lot of sharks in the ocean. And the sharks will kill them before they can swim home. Dude, there's a scorpion right under me, stinging the shit out of me. That's 
what I am talking about. Yeah, but it's fun. And, and you can even pick, like, players off of other birds. So if you just saw someone flying around not paying attention, you could swoop down with your bird and just pick them right off the back of their bird. And it is, it's fun. It's fun. It's really toxic, though. It's really toxic, and it's not very nice to do. But... But usually what we would used to what we used to do is um when we when we jack around with the new players, yeah, we'd kill them a couple times and then they'd respawn and then we'd kill them again and just have a little fun. Or what we would do, one of my friends that we played with, okay? He used to find the beach noobs and he used to round them up, okay? We used to call them all beach noobs and we had like all the good stuff and good tames and all the stuff. He used to round up all the beach noobs together. And uh, he used to make them fight each other. He used to make them fight to the death. He says, I'm going to kill you all if you guys don't start fighting. And they, so he used to, like, watch them all fight. It was basically like a video game version of bum fights. <laughs> and then what? at the end of it, like, he'd give, like, good stuff. Like, he'd give, like, nice guns or something to, like, whoever wins. So he'd hook them up with stuff. And... So he wasn't, like, a total dick. But... but he was, like, crazy, though, the guy that we used to play with. He used to, like... Like, usually, like, people that play this game, they're just out running around, killing dinosaurs, trying to tame things. Or they're building stuff or exploring caves. This guy, his whole thing was killing other players. That's all he wanted to do, okay? So he used to, like, in the trees, like, on this over here, he would do something like he'd come up here, like, behind these rocks. He'd build up, like, a platform up in, like, high up into a tree or up on top of a rock. Basically like a deer stand, okay? He'd like build a deer stand, and he would sit there for hours, not even moving. He'd be laying on his stomach with a sniper rifle, just laying there for hours, for hours, like real hours, just waiting for some new player to come walking down the beach or fly by on his bird or whatever, and he'd fucking just murder him. <laughs> They'd never even know he was there. He just murdered people, always. He was fun to play with. He was from- he was from the backwoods. Faux show. I missed that one. Oh well. He was from, from out in the sticks. <laughs> Can't remember- I think he was from North Carolina, like somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in North Carolina. 70... Level 15. I see a Rex over here? I think I saw a Rex over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Come on, be a high level already. I need it. Level 75 and level 55. Not high enough. Fuck. We need a 125 or higher. We need it. It's not like a, it's not like just a want. It's a need. It's a need at this point. Yeah, remember bum fights? We used to- it used to be beach noob fights. He used to just, like, sit there, like... And he- and... Like, cause we'd all be on- in voice parties and headsets, cause our tribe, we had, like... I don't know, like, dozens of people in it, and, and at any given time, we'd have, like, 5, 10, 20 players playing, always, on our- on our tribe. And... We'd see that he's logged in, and we'd all of a sudden ask... Where's so-and-so at? We haven't seen him all the time, and... I mean, he'd be in the party the whole time, not saying a word. He'd just be he would have been listening in on us for like an hour, right? Not even saying a peep. We were like, wonder where he's at? Did he fall asleep or something? And he'd just go in, nope, I'm in a deer stand right now. And we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like he was really hunting. Like he was just dead silent and... It was funny. And he was the guy on our team that would always do trading with the other tribes on the server. Um, so what he would do is he would, he would breed some of our best dinos and some of our stuff. Because there were a couple Canadian guys on a different tribe on our server. And all they did all the time, Orda, was get really drunk and high, and then they would play Ark. Okay? They were pretty funny. There were a couple Canadians. Sounded exactly like guys on the trailer park boards. And, um... These guys are tough to kill. They're, made, they're making my bird pretty bloody. It's a male and a female, so they got extra damage and extra strength. 
I got my bird down under half, actually. I'm gonna have to heal up. There we go. Yeah, let's look at my bird's health. It's bloody. Uh, yeah, I got down to 4,300 out of 9,100. I gotta be careful. Uh, so anyway, they would always get drunk, and then what they would do is they'd get drunk, and, like, they'd pass out while they're playing, and then they'd get their stuff killed. Yeah, he was a total lurker. It was crazy. Um, they'd get their stuff killed, and then, like, our friend, he would end up, like, selling them, like, new dinosaurs, like, for real money. He's like, all right, I'll hook you up with a new dragon and a new Rex and a new this, but it's going to cost you 25 bucks or whatever. And then they'd pay him, and then he'd take that money from selling, like, our stuff, and then he'd, like, go online, like, to Facebook and buy us better stuff for our tribe. Like, better eggs for, like, some of the, you know, stuff to help improve our stuff or... <laughs> but, yeah, he was, like, at least once a week he was selling a whole bunch of stuff to the Canadians because they lost everything because they got drunk. And he would just do totally, like, trolly things, too. Like, you can tame vultures in this game, okay? And what the vultures do is they just basically bounce around on the ground and look like vultures, and then when they get see dead bodies, they all swarm it. Or you can tame them and raise them from babies, and uh, you can command them to attack things, okay? So he would just raise, like, dozens and dozens and dozens of vultures and, like, put them on some of the islands that everybody has to go to to, like, get certain resources. So, like, when other players would, like, go just, like, thinking they were all safe to go, like, get stuff, they would, all of a sudden, like, 30 vultures would just fly out of nowhere and attack them, and... It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Is Paula Larkin Orda wants to know? Alright, let's force-feed some meat into this thing to heal it up a little faster. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. Let's try to get this thing up a little bit more in health. See, right now I'm jamming meat down its throat to heal it faster. Works a little bit. Like, right now I'm not... It's, it does, like, one point of health at a time, like 75, 76, 77, 70. 8, 9, 39, 80, 54, 81, 82. But if I hold this button, it does like five points at a time. If I force meat down its throat. <laughs> Good times. Let's get this up to about 6,000 health, and then we'll continue our journey of killing. I just don't want it to... I don't want to get in trouble, like, have another couple Rexes or something spawn and end up killing my bird, because I'd cry. Probably cry. All right, we're up to six thousand health. So let's actually go back into here. Drop not all this. Let's drop this side. The animals inventory. Raw meats. Throw it on the ground. Eat some steaks. Level up of my character is available now. Nice. Take advantage of that in just a second. Level 15 Carno's a piece of shit. What's down here causing trouble? Whole bunch of shit fighting down here. Let's just land in here and see what comes and attacks. Nothing yet. Let's let the other stuff kill each other, right? Eventually, the survivors will come and try to get me, right? Banks is back! Banks is like, I'm still here! Man, there's a lot of stuff trying to kill that RG over there. Let's get involved. Let's get involved. Let's just walk on over. They don't even know what's coming to get them. Now, this is dangerous. You know what? I'm not going out there. If you get in the water, you can get dismounted off your bird. If I get dismounted off my bird, I'm dead. Let me go put another point in the character weight of what I can carry. We're up at level 90 now. That's awesome. All right, let's just let all that shit fight each other. We don't need to get involved in that. They're boring. 
Carno, level 10, you suck. That'll be an easy kill. Got a Tech Raptor joining the party. That was a low level piece of shit. We'll get the scrap metal thrown away. Because it's heavy. Along with that stuff. Pink Floyd's summoned eat your meat. <laughs> How can you eat your pudding if you haven't eaten your meat, Orda? That cheat world was laggy? Wait, what? I don't know. I don't know what that means. No, I don't know. How does anybody know? On saber. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. It's alright, none of them are even hardly hitting me. Rende! The video you saw said Pigman can drown. So you tried that to kill them, but instead they're just chilling. Six of them standing there looking up. Oh, come on. What do you mean? Where are you getting Pigmen? Did you build another portal to bring Pigmen into the regular world, Randy? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing to our server? What are you doing? It's a level 55. We'll kill that. Yeah, small gold farm. Oh, jeez. Randy, where, did you build it at your house? Randy, did you build it at your house? Because your house is very close to our house, okay? The problem with building a portal that close is there's a chance that I can walk through my portal and end up coming out back through your portal because they're too close. And if I end up coming back from the nether thinking I'm going back to my house and end up in your fucking little gold farm just giving you a warning right now I will level that thing to the damn ground okay just a warning I'll, I'll be nice about it I'll be nice about it but it'll, it'll I'll level it to the ground your gold farm you won't even know where it was you'll go there someday and all it'll be all, all that you'll see there is grass grass and maybe a few flowers and a tree or two that's all you'll see that's all you'll see. Oh, you keep it off? Okay, alright. Alright. Okay. Banks doesn't go into your house, you better not be building a portal block for him. Yeah, okay, Randy, Banks mentioned something about you were built doing some way to like get portal blocks, like to glitch blocks of the inside of another portal. Like the purple like glowing stuff. And Banks was a little concerned that that's, like, really laggy, and... I don't know. I don't know what that means. I was gonna ask Alfred, like, if that's something that we should allow. Because some of that stuff really lags out a server, like, when you build some of that crap. But I don't know if that's one of the things. But Banks had mentioned that he thought he saw that you, you were doing that. Because Banks sees everything. Banks is our spy. <laughs> you did build a portal block farm. It doesn't work in realms. Oh, so you tried to do it and it didn't work? Okay. Alright. Well, I know there's certain things. I don't remember which ones, but I know there were a couple weird farms. I don't know if that was the one, but Alfred, like, pretty much forbid, like, anyone building them right away, like, when he heard about, like, people were trying to build it. Like, nope, you're not building that. That lags out a server, and it'll it'll it doesn't just lag it. I think he says it like it could corrupt the file, 
like the save and like we could lose like you know it, it, I don't know Alfred seemed pretty damn concerned and I know Alfred builds a bunch of crazy shit so for him to like say absolutely no he must know something about it I don't know well, I don't think that I don't know if that was it but it was something it was something weird he told somebody not to build something I don't remember what it was. I don't know. <laughs> Banks is right. You guys are on there playing right now, and Banks is right behind you. Uh, <laughs> oh, you told Banks about it? Okay. Or you told Alfred about it. I don't know what you're saying. This wouldn't be that bad of a task, trying to find a high-level Rex, if it wasn't for all these damn flying birds. I mean, I know I'm one of the flying birds, but... I don't want to have to keep fighting others. But I think we're well beyond that point of the evening. Do a raw meat drop. Okay, we're only going to give a couple more spins around this island. Organizers is on there too, really? And on yesterday, someone broke your wall open that you built that opens when you push a button. What? Who would have done that? I mean, it wasn't me. Bro, just tell her it wasn't you. Honey came and then she caught me red and keeping with a girl next door. Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. How could I get I had given her an extra key? Is that just two level tens? Level ten, level ten. No, fucking level tens, man! This game's bullshit! Fucking level 10s. At least they're spawning. At least they're spawning. It will happen. We will get a high level. Purple drop's not ready just yet. Got a couple Carnos over here. Level 20. Can't even see the other one. Come on, quit moving. Level 10. Jesus Christ. Bunch of crap dinos. What's up, Grace? How you doing? Okay, we need to get in the air they were pushing me in the water. Jeez, that was a little fight. Not the best spot to be fighting. Let's get stamina first. There were like 12 pigmen up in that hole. Jeez. Nice. Sorry, just for fun since you're... No, no, no. Look, I mean, as long as you know what you're doing and... As long as you're sure there's no way that, like, if Banks gets on or if Amanda gets on and just wants to have fun or organizers and goes to the nether and comes back, and as long as you're sure there's no way they're going to go fall into your gold farm and get killed and lose all their shit, then... 
Whatever. Another Rex. Be the high level. Level five? Are you fucking kidding me? You can't get any lower than that. Like, I really can't. That's the lowest level. Well, you can have lower levels if you lower the difficulty settings, but that's the lowest level I can get. This guy's gonna go down quick. Yeah, you know, shitty level five. Look at it's done. Level five piece of crap. Fuck off, bro. There's another Rex. Dude. Level 20. Ugh. 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 Trying to remember Banks' house? Dude, that thing's dead already. I mean, it was in the middle of fighting these sabers that softened it up, that's for sure. Just turn on the old Minecraft texture effect, even the notch apples look like themselves. I don't know what that means. I don't well I've only played recently, like so I don't know what they used to look like or I didn't know they changed the textures. Randy, did you hear the bank's got a goddamn notch apple on there now? He's told everybody, I just want to make sure you heard. Yeah, Randy, you had that GD Notch Apple, right? Pretty much. Yeah, there's a bunch of raptors killing RGs. That'll sort itself out. I'm just here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And Randy, I'm all out of bubblegum. You guys don't even know what movie that's from. You guys don't even know. Don't even fucking know. Two Rexes. Come on, be it, be it. Level 50? Level 15, you bitches! You bitches. Bullshit spawning over here. Let's live dangerously and get this before killing everything. Got a couple of manta saddles. What the hell am I gonna do with those? Well, I guess I could ride a manta. Not that we're gonna tame a manta anytime soon or maybe ever. I'd rather do this over land, guys, so come on over here. Follow me, you idiot dinosaurs. Get over here. Yeah, you were on. Don't waste it. Yeah, don't don't eat your GD notch apple. I mean, it's yours. You can do what you want. Oh, those guys are pissed. Yeah, these guys are gonna go down quick because I think it was two males. If it was a male and a female, they get so much tougher. With the mate boosting. Yeah, this bird's just got such an amazing pecker, doesn't it? Like, it keeps pecking everything to death. It's got an amazing pecker, Randy. Alright, sounds like it's from World War II movies. No, it's not. It's not a World War... It was an 80s movie, I think. Was it 80s or 90s? I think it was called They Live, is the... Is the movie. I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. 
and I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I think it's They Live. I'm sure you could look it up on YouTube. That scene. <laughs> there's another Rex. Dude, this is they're spawning so quick now. Level 20. Still a bunch of shitty levels, but every time one spawns, we got a roll of the dice. And it's not an even distribution like you got a, you know, just as much chance as a level 100 versus a level 5 now. The low, lower levels spawn more often, for sure. And we're seeing that. We're seeing that. Didn't he say that in Duke Nukem? I don't remember. Fuck is getting me. Oh, a bunch of Archies, too. Let's land and kill these Archies. Oh, that's a mate boosted high level pair right there. That one's got three digits in the level. I don't know what it is. If they did it in Duke Nukem as well, then they copied off the movie. My guess. These birds are fucking me up, man. It's because they're high level and they're mate boosted. Level 70. Now, now that'll go down quick because he lost his mate. What level are you? You guys can't see because I haven't turned up the gamma yet. On you motherfucker. Is that a 150? It better not be a 150. It better not be. Level 15's dead. Come on, what are you? I just can't see the damn levels on these guys. Unless you spyglass them. Or walk right up to them, but that's dangerous. Gotta be a 150, man. Going this strong. My fingers getting tired. If I would have known that. I might have tried to build a trap to tame it. Uh, I think it's 140. Pretty close. Yeah, 140. Holy fuck, that guy was tough. But now he's in my belly. Alright, let's turn up the. The gamma, so you guys can all see what we're doing. That makes a little difference, does it not? What's your cords? What's your cords? Alright. How much longer are we gonna do this? Honestly. We can always, we got we got we can always do it again next time. I'd like to do other things in Ark other than try to tame a high level Rex, you know. But I gotta get a high level Rex. I need to get two of them actually to start breeding them. So Fifty five and garbage. But there's another Rex already. Level ninety five. That's the highest we've seen so far tonight. I'm not going to get a level 95, though. Shit. Yeah, let's try to perch up on this rock and do some killing. Get the high ground. Get over here. That raptor can't reach me. He's pissed. Alright. That ain't working. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money for nothing. Chicks for free.
Stay away from the teeth. Stay away from the teeth. That's my advice in fighting a Rex. Stay away from the pointy teeth. Dude, did this guy just heal up somehow? Because he's looking like he was really bloody and now he's less bloody, it seems like. And I'm down to 3,900 health. I might have to bail on this in a little bit. I don't want to die and I don't want to stam out. What the fuck, man? Oh, it's lagging, too. Okay, I'm down to 3,300 health. This is not going to... I'm going to kill. I'm going to kill. I got to finish this up. Yeah, he's getting real bloody. He's going down soon. I need to get... Down under three... Under 3,000. There we go. Holy fuck. I got to get... I got to get stamina. I need to go heal up. He's spying for gold farm and it... Banks, you're not the you're not the K3 police, okay? Randy has approval to do whatever, pretty much, okay? Settle down, Banks. You're not the K3 police. <laughs> oh man. Deputy Banks! Deputy Banks reporting in. Randy may or may not have unapproved devices on the realm. Deputy Banks reporting. <laughs> Deputy, Deputy Banks reporting in to Sergeant Alfred. Alfred, is it okay that Randy did this? Well, we'll have to report back. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, yeah, we're down to 3,200 health. We got this bird fucked up. Let's, uh, force feed some meat into it. Get it up to, get up a little bit of health as we hang up and read some, read a little bit of chat. Let's see. To report to Officer Kittle? <laughs> Why'd you go down to my room? What? Well? Randy, you are now arrested. <laughs> uh, put your hands up, sir. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I saw you got that pit for little boys under your bed, Randy. Whatever that's all about. We're not going to talk about that, though. It puts the lotion on its skin, or it gets the hose again. <laughs> we saw it. We all saw that, Randy. We all saw it. We all saw it. No hiding it. No hiding it anymore. All right, we're getting the health back up. We were under three thousand there. That was scary. Um, now we're up to forty-five hundred. We're up a little bit over halfway now. Let's get it up to about 5,000 and then, uh, I don't know, do I want to keep doing this? It's already 1 in the morning. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're up over 5,000 health. Let's go ahead and drop the raw meats. We got some blueprints and saddles we can put on the bird. Yeah, our bird's getting pretty heavy with a bunch of bullshit anyway. I think... I'm thinking it might be time. Getting close to time. Yeah, that's already full. That's already full. Let's grab a whole nother chest full of hide, huh? I think that's what we got in here. Oh yeah, more than a chest full of hide. 10,900 hide right there. Jeez. Each box only holds 9,000, I believe. So there's 9,000. And then here's some more. Can't even hold what we had. Alright. Alright. Randy, you are now arrested. I'm reporting this man putting very innocent slimes... Yeah, I know you got a slime in prison. What's that all about, Randy? 
Alright, wait, are we gonna take any of this stuff home? I just put all this shit away. Do I need to take any of this stuff home? Because we're not, we're, we're done. We're go yeah, let's take a whole box of hide home. And out of here, let's take this egg, these blueprints, the oil. I guess we'll take some saddles and the sword, the arm. We'll leave the chitin. That's all hide. Any of this other crap we're gonna take? Mm, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. That, that. We're saving our wreck saddle over here. We will get one and use it someday. Someday! Alright, let's go home. I mean, maybe we'll, we'll just fly by the island one more time. We're not gonna kill anything. We're just gonna fly by and just look. We're just going to look, see if there's a Rex. Is that a Rex? God, that looks so tiny from where I'm at. Okay, that's a level 20. We're not going to mess with him. Man, I'm flying a lot slower now that I just loaded up with all that bullshit. Nothing up there. Nothing over here yet. You don't keep them trapped. Randy, I saw that thing in your room, the slime bouncing up and down. Unless you got rid of it. I think he's claiming that he got rid of it. Okay, there's nothing out on that island, Rex Rays. Nothing Rex. Looking for a T-Rex. We gotta come up with some names for the dinos. Anybody got a good name for this bird that we're on right now? Anybody got a good name for it? This is like our main thing right now though, so I mean it's gotta be a good name. And I know I shouldn't even be asking since it's only Randy and Banks watching it seems like or the only ones awake. <laughs> Gonna leave it to them, it sounds like. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, let's just peek in this drop. Looks to be safe. Don't see anything around. There's a saber tooth way over there. Let's take that. The Dicarus saddle. My stam is only in about half. I think we can make it across here. How did you walk through my door like that and you weren't in that room just now? Can you go invisible for real? Or was that? No, he's he makes invisibility potions. Randy, he makes invisibility potions. I don't even know how to make them, but he knows how to make them. He does it. He thinks it's fun. It kind of is funny. And uh, you never well, and if if you. You can still see him though. If you if if he's near you, there'll be like little gray bubbles around him. That's all you'll see though. Is like the little gray bubbles. Or I guess if he like holds a weapon in his hand, you might see that. Like if he actually puts something in his hand. Oh, you act you found him. You axed him. Or did you mean you asked him? Because I know some people say ax like. Let me ax you. Let me ax you something. <laughs> What'd you ax him? <laughs> Alright, we got our stamina back. Too bright. Options. Gamma correction. Down to about halfway. Save and exit. Resume. Continue our flight home. Let's go this way. Let's try it. We gotta go to our sap tap. Sap taps, that is. There's a purple drop here in the forest. Not yet on the ground yet. I'm not waiting for it. We can live without it. I'm just flying through trees. A little scary, because I don't know what I'm flying into. A little scary. A little scary. I guess I'm still along the coast. It's cut in a little further. 
There we go. Now I can see what we're doing. I think this is the mountain that's covered with obsidian. This is where I need to come to get obsidian if I need it. Sap tap. Yep, we made a sap tap on a big redwood tree on a tree platform. I gotta be careful because all the... When we killed all the dinos, all new dinos spawned in all different places. Hope they hope none of them spawn near my house. I mean, I could go home and all my shit could be dead for all I know. That would be bad, wouldn't it? That'd be kind of bad. Kind of, kind of would be bad. Oh no, that's my RG trap up here. Okay. Let's see what level RG is just chilling by it, guarding it. Level five piece of shit. Okay. This ain't the Obsidian Mountain. The Obsidian Mountains, I think. Which one is it? I don't know. It's one of the other ones. Not this one. You can't axe a police officer? See the new fiery smoky section with the new... What's the new fiery smoky section with a... I don't know if I saw that. You got a new painting? Is this a Giga right here? Oh, I think we got a Giga. Glitched into the rock a little. Level 45 female. Should we go fly by it and see what? watch it growl? It'll get pissed. I bit its tail! That was stupid. Oh, there we go! Oh, those things are mean. That's the biggest, baddest dino in the game right there. Shouldn't have done that. Mistakes were made. Oh, this thing will follow me for a fucking mile. Oh, no, it got caught on something. It's fighting something different. Oh, no, it's still coming after me. Oh, shit. Okay. Decorated the beside the wither wall, huh? Am I able to drive? What are you talking about? What do you mean, are we able to drive? Who are you talking to? Am I able to drive? This is America. This is America. No, oh, dive. Dive bomb? Not with this. They have a animal. It's not even on this whole map. It's a different map that has it. It's called... Is that a Rex up there? It is. Level 5 piece of crap. Look at the Bronto spawned up there. That's funny. Um, there's a dino on a different map. It's not available on this map. It's called a griffin. It's kind of like a cross between... It's like a lion with wings or something. It's kind of weird. Um, but those... You can dive bomb with those. And they do like big swooping motions. And when they land on the ground, they like... Do like a pop, big like pouncing, pounding move or something. Kind of cool. Let's get some stamina. Whew. Hate autocorrect. <laughs> Randy, if you need more dragon heads, let us know. We can get more dragon heads. They're pretty easy to get. Well, not super easy to get, but easy enough. Okay, we're fully stammed up. Fucking Spino right below me. That's not great. Let's go get some sap. Right here on the corner of the redwoods is where I put my taps. I don't see my plat. Oh, there's my platform. It just took a while to render in. There are some beaver dams right below us. Damn! Damn, damn. Beaver dam. So I put this tree platform here, Rendai. Put this tree platform here. And I can land here now. In relative safety. Not, not total safety. And access this. And there's no fucking sap in it? What? Did I, When I did that dino wipe, did it get rid of it? Why aren't these giving me sap? These should be full of sap. We've been playing for a couple hours. Son of a bitch. The, oh, right there, 20 sap. 
What? Was that like just some weird glitch that it took a while to load in? How did that just automatically have 20 sap that quick? You know what? I don't know if I'm going to question it, because I need the fucking sap. But all these should have 20 sap in them. All of them. Every one of these. Oh, Randy, if you like, like in this game, so I got this wooden tree platform here, right? You can actually put foundations and like build walls around and make like a tree house. You can make a whole base in the trees. It's pretty cool. I'm seeing if there's any uh, tree tigers here. You gotta watch the big redwood trees, because on the sides of some of them, they'll be like uh, tigers, like hanging from them, ready to pounce down on you. Redwoods are scary. I don't like going in there. I, I just avoid the redwoods. I don't even fuck it. I don't. No, never. Never. How did that one just fill up with 20 sap instantly? They're supposed to slowly fill up and max out at 20. That's what they're supposed to do. Slowly. And that just that one had 20 in it. That's fucked up. I don't know. That's weird. That's very weird. Anyway, we got our sap. We got some sap. I was hoping to get 60 pieces of sap, but we got... 20 off of those, off of the one tap. Fucking weird. <laughs> Alright, we're almost at home. There's the green obelisk. Ooh, scary. Fancy. We're flying pretty slow because we got, we're carrying uh, 650 pounds of gear and shit and stuff. Not literally shit, but... I mean, I don't know, we could grab some poop if we wanted to. Ha <laughs> ha! Poop. Let's eat a steak or two. Fill up our food. There's a tech parasaur, we're totally killing that fucking thing right there. What level are you, though? Can I even see? Can't even see. Level 108, damn, okay. That's actually pretty good, let's kill it anyway. Thank you very much for the materials. Your sacrifice will be remembered. There's another tech parasaur. Getting that fucker. Getting that one. And we get all these guys because when you harvest them, instead of getting meat and hide like a regular dino, you get electronics, oil, and metal. And the electronics is what we need. The other shit, we don't even care about. The oil's not bad right now. Early game oil is good. We need oil. Okay, let's land for some stamina, and then we should be able to get home from here. I'm all right. Okay. What is that in the water right there that we need to see? Can't see it now. That. That's just a raptor floating around in the water. Okay, this looked weird. Raptors shouldn't be in the water. But it is. But it is. Manda! Marmelo, he was. What, oh, like, was he up on the panel? Was Marmelo, like, up talking? Oh, man. It is hard to understand him sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Marmelo, if you're watching, but. Yeah, it's a little tough sometimes. Is that a Carno right there? Yeah, it is. Level 15. Piece of crap. We might not be able to make it home without landing again, but we'll be close. We'll be close. 
Popcorn King. So Orda was up on pay. Was it this morning? Or I guess I don't know. Like what morning? Friday morning or Thursday morning? Because if I get really, really bored in the morning and there's... You know how sometimes there's absolute dog shit on YouTube? I might go back and check that out just for fun. Just to see what was going on. Level 20 Baryonyx. That sucks. I see another tech Parasaur over here we're going to swoop down and get. There's a fighting chicken up there. I hope it's a high level because we'll get that fucking thing right now. What level are you? Level 18? You suck. Ah, it fell all the way to the ground. Let's suit down and kill it. I mean, grab its body. Couple fighting chickens here. Let's scope these out. That's not it. Where was it? There it is. Level 15, you suck. Level 45, not much better. And we're almost home. We're, actually, this is home right here. We're here. We made it. And we're flying slow with all this stuff we got. There's our home. There's a Tapajara. Those things are a bitch to tame. Uh, level 5. Okay, we don't care about that. There's the ramp up to our house. Everything looking good up here. Come in for a landing. Hop the hell off. We'll come visit our snail, see how our snail's doing. Come on, access inventory. Take that paste off ya. He's getting hungry. See how our garden's looking? Garden's looking great. We got taters. And we got carrots. We need to put more poo in here for fertilizer. And then we got citronal, which is lemons. Or oranges, I don't know. Uh, and then corn, long grass. I'm gonna have to put some more poo in there. You know what? These guys seem to like giving us poo, so let's pick that up. Any others? Anybody else donating to the cause? Anybody else donating? Nope, not right now? Okay. Thought I heard some others trying to donate. Yep, there's one right there. Any others? No? No? You sure? Sure you don't want to drop a little something for the effort? Alright, we'll check again in a moment. I could force them to if I wanted to. Uh, we're going to go in here real quick and drop off... What do we have in our inventory? Oh, shit tons of hide. Okay. That's not what we want to deal with. You know what? I think we just might log off. And we'll start out by emptying out our bird and clearing all this out. I think that's what we'll probably do. Not sure. Not sure about that. Great club meeting. Kind of wanted to buy that very last... That last piece was kind of cool, but... Manda, you don't have any silver or gold coins to even play with it, you know? Part of the fun of buying an old counterfeit detector like that is... To, like, use it, you know, and just have fun with it. Like, even if you had real one, real gold coins and stuff like that, you don't have any counterfeits to compare, but... So, but usually, like, coin collectors that have been collected for a while might have a few pieces like that. That would be, be fun. Any more poop? Yep, poop. Thank you. Poop? Yep. Come on. Give me, my, give me your poo. There you go. All right. We'll put one extra piece of poo in each, uh... Thing. Deposit feces, deposit feces, deposit feces, and deposit feces. There you go. Doing a little fertilizing. Friday morning. All right. I might have to. I might have to pop in and look at that. 
Because I know, like, half the day tomorrow there'll be absolute nothing on fucking YouTube. You're playing Farm Sim with Jordan? No, you're not, Banks. Oh my god. And then you say, just kidding. Oh my god. I'm like, I'll totally play with you guys. Damn. It was cool history. Would you... Would you have liked it? Do you have anything? I don't have anything like that. Um, I mean, I've, I've had chances to get stuff like that and I've seen it, but... I don't know, I usually sell stuff, you know? I'm always selling shit. So if I had something like that, I'd probably just end up putting it on my... doing a video on it and putting it on my website for sale eventually, because... I don't know, I buy mostly certified coins, so... The grading companies like PCGS or somebody, they've already done the counterfeit detecting and... Stuff or Ooh, that Parasaur just took a dump. Let's get that. Pick that up. Let's pick this up. Thank you for your poo. Any more from you? No. Nope. What about the Stego back here? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. We'll come back and look in a second. We'll come back and look in a second. Let's put a couple things away. What are we kidding? Let's put some oil in here. I know we got oil. Now we got a heavy egg here that we can put in here. Feeding trough? No, 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 no. We got a... Got too much stuff in here. Take some of that meat out. We'll put that in there. Where's the egg? Where's the egg? There's the egg. We'll put this meat back in there. It'll stack differently and be fine. Uh, paste goes in here. I'm gonna do something with all this uh, hide. I've been putting it all in my little birds here. Oh, there's a dodo egg. Let's take that. Come on. Johnny English. We've been putting a lot of hide on him. We'll level up his weight. We'll actually go here. Hide. And cap him out and fill his body with hide to the max. He has no more room for hide. This one here, also, Mr. Bean, is full of hide. Can't do anymore. Alright. Mm -mm. Does Kittle own any crypto? Fuck no, Orda. Fuck no. I'm not buying any of that. Alright. Any Bitcoin? No. Not a, not a chance. Not a chance. And one main reason not to do it, in my opinion, is if you buy or sell any cryptocurrency during the year, you have to report it to the IRS, whether you make money on it or not. It's part of doing your tax return. You have to check a box whether or not you own any crypto or bought or sold any crypto. And you know what? I don't... F I have a feeling if you check that box, there's probably a little more chance that you're, they're going to be looking at your stuff. Probably a little bit more chance that they're going to be looking at your stuff. So just for that reason alone, not to mention that it's made up computer bullshit and nobody uses it to buy anything, it's not money. It's not money. It's just another gambling Ponzi scheme on the internet. Right now, it's working and going up because there's more and more people getting into it. But it's definitely a bubble. Orda, if you look at any of the bubbles that have happened in the last 30 years, you know when you know it's a bubble? When you got bullshit like Burger King ads on Facebook saying, buy a burger and get free crypto. What? I get a little bit of crypto if I buy a burger at Burger King? What kind of bullshit's that? But then you got advertisements all over the place. You watch Fox News or CNBC for like an hour, you're going to see like 10 crypto ads trying to sell shit to people that don't even know what they're buying. That's called a bubble. That's called a bubble, okay? So as soon as find the, the people decide to cash out and get real money instead, it's going to crash and crash hard. It has to. It's worth nothing. It's fake. It's not money. You can't even use it to buy stuff. Now, of course, I uh, people say, oh, you can use Bitcoin to buy. Yeah, there's a few people, there's a few websites out there that, has, in, for novelty purposes, they ex say, say they accept Bitcoin. But you know what? To even accept it, like, they have to transfer it. it, it it's it, it's not easy to spend a Bitcoin, okay? Or a Shiba Inu or whatever the hell you're doing. It's not money. You can't go to the grocery store and pay with your Shibis or Shibu or Shibas. 
you can't buy a pizza with any you can't do anything with it you got to convert it to a dollar it's gambling no everybody all you guys that are buying this stuff it's a gamble and you know what gambling's fine if that's what you know that it is but it's not an investment an investment you look at something uh you look at fundamentals is this making money uh, is there a reason to buy this? Uh, you know, are you buying an interest in a company, whatever it is, or you're buying a mutual fund, or you're buying... The... It's not even... It's gambling. It's gambling. The only way it goes up is if more people buy it. And they get more people to buy it by advertising the hell out of it. Seriously, Burger King. You go to Burger King, they, they say, buy a burger, get free crypto. What the fuck is that? That's a bubble. It'll be big trouble soon for crypto, especially cashed out 10k in a year. Randy, if you cash out one dollar in a year, you got to report it on your taxes, let alone 10k. But yeah, yeah, you got Bitcoin, cool. I guess I don't know. Vern, what's up? Vern's still up. <laughs> you sold two million Shibas and. For some more, what the fuck are, yeah, Randy, no Mercari, okay? No Mercari, please. Been around since 2017, it's spiking high, spend my crypto on silver as well. Atmex accepts crypto. Yeah, and you know what Atmex does with the crypto? The second they get it, they convert it into dollars. They don't, it's not like they go around and then buy their silver from the mining companies using that cr it's not money it's not money and the you guys should all be hating crypto because you want to know the main reason look at we're in a fucking pandemic where the government's spending and printing trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars right inflation massive inflation on everything try buying a burger or a gallon of gas or they're not even gonna have a dollar store anymore because you can't have things be a dollar anymore in a real normal world gold and silver should be going way up when there's any of that whether it's the pandemic inflation any of that going on gold and silver should be skyrocketing right has it no no. Gold and silver aren't that much different than they were when all this shit started. And you know why? Because the typical people that would put money into gold and silver at this time are putting money in bullshit like Shibu Inus and fucking dog coins and fucking bitcoins and stuff like that. Because, the, because they're looking at it and they're just gambling. They're, and you know what? If enough, It's a Ponzi scheme. If enough people, if enough idiots out there do it, of course. It goes up, but nobody nobody makes money until you sell and cash out and put it back in the real dollars. And as soon as people start doing that and doing that in quantity, who's left to buy it? Who's left to buy it? It serves no purpose. It's not money. There's no there. It's it's nothing. And if you lose your goddamn hard drive or your USB drive, it's all gone. It's gone. It's not real. It's nothing. There's stories all over the place of people losing their eight bitcoins that were on their folder or their 12 bit or 100 bitcoins back, whatever, that would have been worth millions today. Fuck that. It's not money. It's a fucking Ponzi scheme. And that's why the IRS, when you do your returns, go to any tax preparer in their questionnaire. You know what? It says... Have you, do you own any cryptocurrency or have you bought any cryptocurrency, bought or sold any cryptocurrency in the prior year? And if you're not answering yes, and you were, then you're filing a false tax return. I'm just saying, that's, you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to be in that position. And I guarantee, and if you sell $10 or $5 or you make $20 on this stuff, you have to report that. It's not 10000 It's not 600 You make $1, it's taxable. If you make $1, it's taxable. Just because they don't send you forms on it or anything, or you're dealing with some fucking company that ain't going to do it for whatever. And that's the other thing. Look at the history of Bitcoin. They had that whole exchange go bust, and people lost their assets. So you had your money stored, your Bitcoin stored with the whatever exchange years ago 
and then they went out of business. It's not like it was on Wall Street in America under American law protecting you. It's some fucking foreign country that nobody's heard of. And they, do you think the U.S. government's going to give a shit if you call them up and say, hey, I had like 83 bitcoins in this account in this place, and now I don't have it anymore. Will you help? They're going to laugh their asses off at you. They don't give a fuck. Anyway, I think we did a little bit of a rant there. Sorry, Amanda. I'm sweating now, damn it. <laughs> it's hot in here. Did it get warm in here? Did somebody turn off the air? <laughs> Randy bought... Brother Cash out 900 is bet you bought 277 million Shibu Inus. And it went up to 25k? Yeah, but he doesn't have any money until he sells. He doesn't have any money until he sells. So if, he should sell right now take that $24,000 profit, pay his taxes on that, and celebrate with the 12 or 13 grand he gets to keep in his pocket. That's a huge score. He got a lucky gamble. That's way better than going to the casino. He got lucky, and he cashed out before the bubble burst. He cashed out. Yeah, I've had friends, believe me, I've been in the coin business. I've had friends telling me to buy Bitcoin when it was like, like, it went from, like, 100 to, like, 250 bucks, and then it crashed and went back down to, like, 100, like, six or seven years ago. And I had friends, oh, you should get it now. It's back low again. It's going to go right back up to two, 300 bucks. And it's like, oh, whatever. I mean, they're like, oh, I just put 1,000 bucks in it or so. Who gives a shit? And I'm like, it's not real. I don't give a shit. And if I would have done that, yeah, I would have probably made a half million bucks on that or something by now. But, but there's no way I can look back and say, oh, if I would have bought what they told me to buy, I'd be up, like, six, seven hundred thousand dollars which is what I would be up if I actually did what they told me to do at the time. But there's zero chance. I'm telling you right now, there's zero chance if I actually would have bought like 10 Bitcoins back then, right? For like a thousand bucks. Is there any chance I wouldn't have sold as soon as that 1,000 turned into 5,000 or turned into 10,000 or turned into 12 or 18 or 40,000 or 50? There's no way I'd still be owning that shit in some stupid electronic account which I don't even understand, where it's worth six, seven hundred thousand now. There's no fucking way I would have sold that shit immediately. I would have sold that shit immediately. Exactly. But whatever, you know. I mean, it's gambling. You know, it's gambling. And you could say, yeah, the stock market's gambling too, and to some extent, it's all it's the same. It's all buyers and sellers. It's all buyers and sellers. If there's more buyers than sellers, things go up. Same with Bitcoin. Same with all that. But the difference with the stock market is you own something. You actually own something. You own a share, a percentage interest in a real fucking company that exists. And when they make profits, you own a share of those profits. Earnings per share. And it generates money. Bitcoin don't generate a goddamn thing. Shibus, shibis don't generate anything. You don't own anything. If the it's all based on buyers and sellers, and that's a Ponzi scheme. That's a classic fucking Ponzi scheme. Look up Ponzi scheme if you don't even know what that is, and try to tell explain how it's not a Ponzi scheme. Because you can't do that. It's all based on buyers and sellers, and that's it. That's it. There's no inherent value whatsoever. If the buyers quit buying, it goes to zero. It goes to zero. That's it. There's no. It will generate no new wealth. Nothing. Nothing. Did I see where Jimmy Felling bought a bay? I don't know what a bay C is on his Twitter. It's an N I F C. Oh, an N F C. Is that what it is? Pictures. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand that either. It's like, why would you buy a picture on a computer when I could just go and make a copy of the same picture and, like, what? I don't even understand what it is. I don't even under I don't get that at all. That's people with too much money. That's just people with too much money. That's just people with way too much money. Stock market's slow? What do you mean the stock market's slow? It historically, like over like a 20, 30 year period, the stock market returns seven, eight percent. Earning seven to eight percent on your money is not bad. You're doubling your money every what, seven to ten years. That's not bad. Better than keeping your money in cash or in the bank or in gold or in silver. And you actually own something. 
and the companies can actually grow and become and and you generate profits you hope and they pay dividends if it's a real company that actually makes money yeah anyway yeah stock market is slow sometimes but actually the last two years three years or actually ever since uh, Donald Trump got elected the stock market has not been that slow it's been on fire it's been on fire it's probably tripled in value since 45 got elected but it's yeah it's not as fa it, well it's, it's not as volatile as the gambling and Bitcoin that's for sure Anything that goes up a couple thousand one day and then down a few thousand and up three thousand then down two thousand That's not that's not that, that's gambling. That's gambling. That's not a, that's not an investment It's a hundred percent gambling, but you know what a lot of people are doing it and as long as they keep these companies Keep advertising more and more people to put a little bit of dollars Even if you're only putting a little 20 50 bucks here, whatever as long as there's more buyers than sellers, it's going to keep going up. But any day, any day, the bottom will fall out. And it can go right to zero. And and it's not just based on buyers and sellers. There's a lot of uncertainty for re government regulatory purposes. What if tomorrow the U.S. government comes out and says it's not legal for United States citizens to own or trade in Bitcoin? They could do that. They absolutely could do that. Because you know who uses Bitcoin to actually buy and sell things? The only fucking people that use Bitcoin to buy and sell? Criminals. There's no other people that actually use it for buying and selling and using it as money. They, they're criminals. So they could come right out and say nobody's allowed to own it. And then you, if you do have it and you do trade it, you'll be trading it illegally. Other governments of the world could do the very same thing. Others have done that and then where's the price gonna go you do that at any moment covid major retirement account grow like great well yeah that's the whole thing it's not yeah I'm, my retirement account doubled basically in the last couple of years too but it's none of it's real money until you start using it i mean it could go back down especially with inflation and number 46 in there fucking printing money left and right it could go right back down in half Markets go up and down, you know, but it's not going to go to your retirement account won't go to zero. Bitcoin and Chibis and Do Doge coins and all that other crap that that can go to zero because it's nothing. There's nothing there. There's no assets. It's only buyers and sellers. You own nothing except a little piece of computer code or whatever it is. Motherfucker. I was trying to end this like an hour ago, wasn't I? Alright. You have some NFTs you like, though, and you plan... What do you do with it, though, Randy? Like, so you, you buy, like, a fucking picture of a dog or something, and you pay, like, thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars for that shit. I can go on the internet and Google the same damn picture and download it to my computer for free. It... it, it I, I don't understand... I saw, like, on Facebook, the Chicago Bulls. I followed them on Facebook. They were selling the NFTs of, like, some pictures of the champ Bulls championship runs from the 90s. And I'm like, I've seen those pictures. All I can go right now and Google those and just copy them onto my computer. Fucking worthless. Why would someone pay for that? I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. It's not like it, it doesn't even give you the right to use those commercially. Like, I could understand, like, if it was, like, like an iconic photo of Michael Jordan, right? Like, when the Bulls were doing this. If it was, like, one of the famous Michael Jordan pictures where he's, like, dunking over somebody or taking off from the half-court line. And by buying that NFT or whatever it's called, if you buy that, that also gives you the right to use that in marketing and to make t-shirts and to make hats and all kinds of stuff or the put that in books or to license it to others and anytime it's in a magazine you get paid if there was some money you could make off of it i'd almost understand it but i don't think that's the case i don't think you can even do anything with it it's pretty fucking weird i don't know man. i don't know you guys are crazy
<laughs> oh, I got pretty heavy here, didn't we? Let's go electronics. Put these electronics in here. Oh, we got a lot of electronics off killing all them tech dinos. That's good shit. And we got some Earl. Texas tea. What they call it. Turn on a fan yet? Shut up, Randy. <laughs> They're tied to your wallet. The ownership can be proven. They can be used in things like passes for games or projects. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. Uh, so whatever. Like the B Bay Sea Yacht Club you can use as an actual pass to board their yacht. Oh, okay. I guess. Or, to, yeah, I heard that bullshit too. Like, what was it? Ecuador or Peru or something said that Bitcoin was one of their official currencies. That's just, yeah, no, believe me, no one in their country is walking around using bitcoins to buy groceries, okay? They're using U.S. dollars. Guaranteed. Guaranteed nobody's there using bitcoins. Basically, that government just came out and said, hey, we're not going to make it illegal, and if people want to use it as a currency, if they can, if anybody can fucking figure out how to use it, go for it. You think any place in South America, any of these whatever country I think it was either Peru or I don't fucking remember what it was, or Ecuador one of those two I think you think anyone in that country like any like local convenience store a fucking 7-eleven a Burger King a fucking you know mom and pop deli a pharmacy you think anybody takes Bitcoin you're out of your fucking mind you're out of your fucking mind if you think they, they don't even know what the hell it is 99% of the people here in America that are buying cryptocurrency don't even know what it is. They just know that it's going up and it moves real quick and they think they can make a lot of money. Nobody even knows what it is. They don't even understand what they're buying and selling. They just know that they're making money off of it. That's called... Wait for it. Wait for it. A bubble. A bubble. That's what that's called. Remember, like, in about 2004, you had, like, waitresses at, like, little bullshit restaurants, like, that owned three condos? Remember that? Remember you had, like, janitors and, like, people that, like, you know, garbage truck drivers and, like, you know, pe like, teachers that make nothing owned, like, three houses or four houses each? Remember? I remember. That was a housing bubble. That's called a bubble. You get and did any of those people have any clue what they were buying or what they were, how they would do what they would do with it? No, they just knew if they bought it now, in two years they could sell it and make a bunch of money. Until they couldn't. Until they couldn't. It worked for several years, until it didn't work. It worked until it didn't. That was back in the day. I I bought a couple places too. I bought a condo. I think it was in 2003. All I did was call up a mortgage company in Missouri, told them I needed a loan. I think it was 260,000 bucks or 230, whatever it was. I told them I needed a loan, and they approved it right over the phone with no paperwork. Nothing. All I needed was a name and a credit score. I had a good credit. That's all I needed. They didn't care if I could afford it. They didn't look at any documentation. Nothing. They didn't even, I didn't even need to show one tax return, no pay stubs, nothing. Nothing. That, that, they changed that. They don't do that like that anymore. It works a little bit differently today. The country seemed third world, third, third, third class world to be Bitcoin. You probably had a condo in Brand Lake of the Ozarks, Osage Beach, Orta, had five of them actually. <laughs> Because all you had to do was make a phone call and you'd get a loan. So the way that used to work, just so you know, if you wanted a loan at the best interest rate, you'd have to show your documentation, prove your income. But if you were willing to pay half of a percent higher, you could get a loan called a stated income loan. That's where you just tell them what your income is and they'd give you a loan without you proving it. Makes sense, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a good policy. 
And the mortgage companies, they didn't even ask you what your income was on a stated income loan. You think, well, part of a stated income loan is, wouldn't you have to ask the client your income? No, they did not do that. What they would do is they would just, you'd, you'd tell them how much of a loan you need, and then they would just fill the number of income on the form that they thought it took to get that loan approved by whoever they were selling the loan to. So I'm sure on all the different loan applications I did, the mortgage comp the mortgage uh, broker filled in some bullshit number for my income and that I never told them. And uh yeah, whatever. Got my pre approval letter pretty much instantly. Thank you very much. Because they were making tons of money selling the loans. Back in the day. Oh the days, right? Yeah, well, condos. Just we would rent them in the for vacation in the summer, and then we'd try to put a long-term tenant in there in the winter. Just just condos that were on the lake, with boat slips and. All right, you're old as if you don't even know what a condo is. You don't know what a condo is? It's like an apartment building, but people own them. You know, it's like multi-unit, multi-family housing building and. But you own them, you don't rent them. So, like, if there's 50 units in the condo, right? A big building with 50 units. Each of those owners owns their own unit, plus they own 1 50th of all the land and all the common areas. So if there's a pool, each person owns 1 50th of the pool. If there's, you know, a park and a tennis court, each person owns 1 50th of it. So you own a little bit of everything, and you have to pay uh, association dues for the homeowners association to maintain everything. So when the gardener comes, you got to pay one fiftieth of the gardener bill. You got to pay one fiftieth of the pool maintenance, and so that's what a condo is. Not a motel. Not a motel. Condominium. Taking the six ghetto ass poop hole areas of West Virginia. <laughs> oh, jeez. Backwoods. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Randy needs a vacation. Where would Randy where where do you want to go to vacation? Can't think about that for a while. That's the best time to go on vacation when you're not supposed to. It's dark in here. I got fancy lights in here. Let's flip these on. Bam. Look at that. Now we're cooking with gas. Backwards. <laughs> All right, did I empty out this bird yet? What the hell's left on this? Some flint. Uh, jeez, there's so much shit in this thing. I don't. How many bone helmet skins do I fucking need? Let's get rid of these. Uh, stem berries. Mm. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. That means I'm getting tired. Medjo berries, narco berries, spoiled meat. Give me that spoiled meat. Ah, I put the spoiled meat right back in. I told you I've hit the wrong buttons. Get that, get the spoiled meat, the spino sale, the stone pillars. <laughs> we'll put that in the building box with building supplies. Uh, yeah. Our boss pieces, the spino sail goes in there. And then we'll put all the berries and chit in here. Looking good, feeling good. Stim berries too. Flint, we're just gonna drop right in this last one here. Mortar pestle. All right, we're pretty good there. We're pretty good there. Not when your house is next on the repo list. Of the Come on, Randy, pay your damn bills. <laughs> Quit buying so much fucking cryptocurrency or sell that damn cryptocurrency. Sell that crypto. Pay your bills. <laughs> All right, let's turn this stuff off. We got to get off of here.
<laughs> buying so many damn coins on Mercari then too, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, Randy goes on a Chicago vacation to get robbed and still has his crypto, right? Yeah, they can't take your crypto, right? If it's if it's not real, how can you take something that's not real, right? <laughs> God. All right, everybody, we had some fun. We didn't get shit accomplished, really, but I mean, I guess we got a Carno. We got we got our Carno back. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks again for being at our coin club meeting earlier as well. Until next time, I guess tomorrow we'll play some Minecraft. And I guess I'll see most of you there, hopefully. Peace out. Good evening.